Captain's Personal Log, Stardate 54303.1. Our new first officer is working out nicely, quite capable, though mildly lacking in experience. The commander will gain that with time. My ship has been assigned to the Vesuvi system to investigate the unusual solar activity hampering colonization in the Maelstrom. I hope to learn more at the Vesuvi 4 terraforming station the sole Federation outpost in this region of space. We are also on alert for any Cardassian activity. Despite Starfleet's claims, I doubt we've seen the last of them here. Icarus 2 is approaching the station. Sir, we're getting some very strange readings from that star. Commander, emergency message from the captain. On screen. Star, oh my god. Its core is destabilizing. Get the ship out of here, now! Sir, warp engine's not responding. Routing emergency power to impulse engines. Picking up an unidentified object warping out of the system. I can't get a good reading on it. We've cleared the system, sir. Setting course for Starbase 12 for emergency repair as ordered. Captain on the bridge. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. On screen. Captain, I'm glad to see you're settling into the center chair. I'm Admiral Liu, Chief of Starfleet Operations in the Maelstrom. Starfleet has a delicate assignment for you. The impact of the Vesuvi event is still being assessed. The Dragos colony was completely destroyed when the solar wave you reported consumed Vesuvi 2. Both the Geki mining operation and the Haven colony at the edge of the system have suffered severe damage. Proceed to Starbase 12 to take on emergency medical supplies, personnel, engineers, and equipment for the relief of the Geki and Haven colonies. Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise will join you aboard Dauntless for this mission. The captain recently was a guest lecturer at the academy and has accompanied your new first officer from Earth. When your mission is completed, deliver Captain Picard to Biranu Station, where he will be speaking at a symposium. Time is of the essence, Captain. Unnecessary delays will cost lives. Liu out. Yes, the ruins on Tega 6 are spectacular. I'll be sure to mention your good taste in my formal report. Thank you, Captain. Captain Jean-Luc Picard, a pleasure to meet you. I understand you served as this vessel's first officer. I knew Captain Wright. We went to the academy together. 
You have my sincere condolences on his loss. However, if he saw fit to select you as his number one, I'm sure you'll do extremely well commanding the Dauntless. I would like to introduce you to your new first officer, Commander Safi Larson. Captain, I'm looking forward to working with you. Commander Larson, if you will take your station. Commander Larson will keep track of your mission objectives and current orders, Captain. Your first officer can be the greatest resource at your disposal. As a former first, you've already had that experience yourself. Commander Larson, bring us to Condition Green and ready the ship for departure. Aye, sir. Condition Green. All hands rig for departure. Chief, please bring the main deflector, warp drive, and impulse engines online. And make sure our warp intermix ratio is at optimum efficiency. Aye, Captain. Main deflector and main drive systems register as ready. Mr. Diaz, bring main sensors online. Check that all worker bees in the area are clear. Yes, sir. Main sensors online. Registering all worker bees out of dry dock area, Captain. Mr. Savali, please bring the structural integrity fields online and make sure our tactical systems are primed and ready. Shields and defensive systems registering is fully operational, sir. We have a full torpedo complement and the structural integrity fields are engaged for transit. Ensign Lomar, clear all moorings and take us out easy. One quarter impulse. Please signal the quartermaster. We are heading out. Signaling dry dock. All moorings cleared. One quarter impulse. Aye. A Federation vessel is only as good as its crew. This point cannot be overstated. It is this interaction with a well-trained crew that allows a starship to operate with a singular purpose. Captain, the bridge is yours. If you would like, take a moment to inspect each of the stations. If you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Captain, it is always a good idea to check with your first officer to confirm your current orders. Captain? Sir, we should head to Starbase 12 to pick up the supplies. May I suggest testing the other mode of Starship operation, the direct tactical interface. Use the spacebar on your command console to toggle between the two views. Your orders, sir. Well then, let's get underway. I'm sure your chief engineer is anxious to make sure the warp engines are functioning correctly. Shall I set a course for Starbase 12, sir? Congratulations, sir. Captain Wright would be very proud of you. Welcome back, sir. Those captains pip suit you. Your orders, sir? Your orders, Captain? Congratulations, Commander. Uh, I mean Captain. Your orders, sir? Congratulations, Captain. Your orders, sir? Yes, Captain? To select a station, simply send to the desired officer in your view and click the left command mouse button. Your orders, sir. Yes? You can do this by asking her for a list of your current objectives. When you do, the commander will be able to give you more specific information. Sir, we should head to Starbase 12 to pick up the supplies. How may I assist? To warp, a destination must first be selected. Direct the ensign to set a course. Then designate the desired destination, in this case, Starbase 12. If you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Course lady. Give Ensign Lomar the order to warp. 
Please remember, Starfleet safety regulations demand that a starship drop out of warp at the outer edge of a system. From that point, you may then continue on to the inner planets of a system at a reduced warp factor. Aye, aye. We have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. Shall I bring us in closer to the Starbase, sir? We will not be able to initiate a dock until we are closer to the Starbase. Ensign Lomar can bring us in closer by flying to the Starbase nav point. Yes, Captain? Nav points plotted by your helmsman are registered in her console. Select the nav point you wish to fly to. The Ensign will maneuver the ship to the nav point. If the designated nav point is a significant distance away, the Ensign will initiate an in-system warp, which allows much higher speeds than tactical. Yes, sir. Yes, Captain? Yes, sir. Incoming message from Starbase 12, sir. Good day, Dauntless. I'm Commander Graf, Commander here at Starbase 12. It's good to see your ship back in one piece. We've assembled the supplies for your mission, Captain. We will transfer them over to your cargo base once you've docked. Shall I initiate docking procedures, Captain? Yes, Captain. Ensign Lomar can also dock the ship within the Starbase. Simply order her to commence docking procedures. Docking sequence initiated. Starbase 12 is the main staging area for Federation operations in the Maelstrom. Any damage repairs or resupply needs you have will be attended to here. Welcome to your home away from home, Captain. We are secured to take on ship supplies, sir. Transferring supplies. Cargo base three and four report supplies have been received and stowed for transport. Transporter room two reports that the medical and engineering teams have beamed aboard, sir. Yes, Captain? Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, sir. We have arrived at the edge of the Vesuvi system, sir. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. This is Director Tobin Solmes. It's good to see you, Dauntless. We have quite a situation on our hands. The Vesuvi event has sent stellar debris into our region. Some larger pieces have settled near our orbital facility. This debris will make it impossible for the incoming supply convoy to transfer their cargo. Before you beam down the relief supplies to the surface, please clear the area around the orbital facility. Contact me when you are done. Thank you. Soames out. Not the most challenging assignment, but it'll be a good weapons test. Perhaps now will be a good time to look over the tactical systems. 
When you interface with Mr. Savali at the tactical station in front and to the right of you, you will see the tactical overlay. This tactical overlay will enable you to feed orders directly into Mr. Savali's station. Contacts within range of the Dauntless are listed on the left below the Lieutenant's orders. To target any contacts that register here, click the name of the target listed below the Lieutenant's orders. Select one of the pieces of debris. Before engaging, we will need to power the weapons. Changing alert levels will automatically bring certain systems on or offline. Red Alert, for example, will bring weapons and shield levels to 100%. At condition green, these systems are powered down. Yellow Alert will bring the shields online, but leave the weapons powered down. Since we want the weapons online, order Red Alert. Red Alert, Now that our weapons up. and shields are online, let's turn our attention to the targeting reticle. It provides all the basic information on the target. The name of the selected target is displayed along the top with its overall health just below. Your distance to the target and its speed are displayed along the bottom. Perhaps Lieutenant Savali should be given the order to destroy the target. To order Lieutenant Savali to engage the current target, select the Destroy Subsystems order located at the top of the interface. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Please turn your attention to the weapons display in the lower right of the tactical interface. The weapons readiness display indicates the charge of the various phaser arcs in the upper and lower saucer arrays and the status of the forward and aft torpedo teams. Notice that green indicates that a weapon is primed and ready. As a weapon is discharged, its display will change to red. The gray arcs within the phaser display show which firing arcs the target is within. The weapons control panel is just to the left of the weapons display. The weapons control panel allows you to select torpedo spreads and types as well as phaser intensity. It also contains the toggle for engaging the fore and aft tractor beams. Next are the shield and damage status displays for both the current target and the dauntless. Along with the current shield level, it displays all damaged, disabled, and destroyed subsystems on the ship. If you wish to take a more direct role in weapons control, select manual fire. If you wish the lieutenant to use his own judgment in selecting targets, order him to target at will. Lieutenant Savali will then engage the next enemy target after the current one is destroyed. There is also a direct tactical interface for those situations in which you feel precise control is necessary for the survival of your ship. To know more about this interface, look to your captain's manual. It covers this mode of starship operation in detail. Captain, engaging to destroy, Captain. That's the last of the debris. Shall I raise the colony, sir? Captain? Yes, Captain. Select Kiska's hail order to attempt to open a channel. To hail a vessel, planet, station, or other object, select it from your helmsman's list of communications options. Hailing frequencies open. We are being hailed by the Haven Colony. Opening channel. Thank you for clearing the station, but it looks like we have bigger problems now. The sensors on our orbital facility have just picked up a number of planetary fragments on a collision course with our planet. We are already in a weakened state after the Vesuvi event, and it's doubtful we could take many hits. Director Soames, get your people into whatever shelters you have available. We'll do what we can from up here. Thank you, Dauntless. Soames out. I recommend an initial scan of the area so we can get a better idea of what we're up against. Yes, sir. How may I assist? Your science officer can initiate a number of scans. In this case, select the area scan. Initiating this will temporarily scan. boost the power to the sensors and increase their detection range. Remember that even if power to the active sensors has been cut, passive sensors on the ship will still allow you to detect contacts, albeit at a reduced range. 
Picking up the fragments in our sensor, sir. Looks like we have a total of five large planetary fragments in two groups. It looks like they're all headed toward Haven. If we can get to them quickly enough, there's a pretty good chance we can take them all out. Stellar cartography should be able to present a good idea of the fragment's relative distance to the colony. Your order, sir? I could bring us within range of the fragments, sir. We can break them up with weapons fire once we're in range. Your orders, Captain. Yes, Captain? To intercept a target, select it in Lieutenant Savali's target list. Once the target is selected, give Ensign Loma the order to intercept. As when intercepting intercept a nav course, point, plotted. the Ensign will initiate an in-system warp if the distance warrants it. Yes, Captain? Perhaps Lieutenant Savali should be sir. given the order to Engaging destroy, to destroy the target. Captain. Sweeping through phaser arcs. To get a higher recharge rate on the phasers, Chief Rex can boost power to the weapons array. Be careful not to rob power from other essential systems, though. By taking an active role and allocating power between your shields, weapons, and propulsion Lining up systems, rear torpedo your vessel's tubes. capabilities can be augmented to suit the situation. Your orders, sir? Moving into attack range. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain. Chief Brex handles all power allocations to the various ship systems. If you wish to increase or decrease power to a particular system, adjust the appropriate power level bar in the engineering display to the right or left. Be aware that a ship's capacity to generate power can be overtaxed by the power draw. In this case, the ship relies on auxiliary power stored in sarium crelide power cells or batteries. Auxiliary power can only be sustained for a short period of time. Sir, the fragments are closing on the planet. We might still have time to catch them. Sir, we did it. All incoming fragments have been reduced to non-lethal sizes. We are being hailed by the Haven colony. Opening channel. The people of Haven Cancel owe you and red your crew alert. a debt of gratitude, Captain. We owe our lives to your courage and quick thinking. Again, we thank you. If you will put your ship into orbit, we can transfer the relief supplies. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. Yes? The order to orbit should be given to your helmsman. By selecting it, you are given a list of all planets in the immediate region. Select the planet you wish to orbit. Your helmsman will initiate a standard orbit of that planet. Standard orbit. Aye, sir.
entering standard orbit. Incoming transmission. I am sending coordinates for your people to beam down. My subdirectors will advise them when they arrive. Coordinates received, Captain. Our teams will begin beaming down supplies and personnel immediately. Admiral Liu told us what happened to the Dragos colony. We've been unable to contact Mr. Takahara on the Geki mining colony. I can only hope their outpost survived the effects of the disturbance. Sir, all supplies and equipment have been beamed down. Again, thank you, Dauntless. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't arrived when you did. Transport complete. We can get underway, Captain. Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. Captain, one of our ships, the Sovereign, is on its way to our space dock facilities for refitting. She's manned by a skeleton crew and is being escorted by two Klingon birds of prey. Her captain, Jonathan Soto, has reported a breakdown in her warp drive, and she's had to lay over in the Tevron system. The Klingons are under orders to divert to Birnu Station and will not be able to stay with her. However, they will be able to transport Captain Picard there with them. Rendezvous with the Sovereign in the Tevron system and join the escort. Once the Sovereign is underway again, you are to continue your mission and deliver the relief supplies to the Geki colony. Liu out. Yes, Captain? Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Leaving orbit. Approaching the Tevron system, sir. Any sign of the Sovereign and her escorts, Mr. Diaz? I have three ships holding in orbit around Tevron II, Commander. Captain? Initiating scan. That's the Sovereign, Captain. And two birds of prey. Shall I hail the Sovereign, sir? Captain? Channel open. Captain Soto, sir. On screen. Congratulations on your promotion to command, Captain. I'm glad to see you here. Repairs are progressing, but we only have a skeleton crew on board, so it's taking some time. We've had to take the impulse engines offline, so we're immobile until the repairs are complete. Yes, sir. This would have been only your a orders, ferrying sir. assignment. He's Intercept undoubtedly course, shorthanded. Plotted. Incoming message, sir. Captain Draxon of the Rancouf, sir. On screen. Hail, Captain. Your timely arrival frees my ship and the Traor to depart for Biranu Station. However, there is something you must know before we leave. My tactical officer reported suspicious readings on his scanners on our way here. Suspicious in what way, sir? Two very faint readings, fading in and out. He thinks we may have been followed by at least two vessels, cloaked. Your scanners could be out of sync. Not on my ship, Lieutenant. No! I speak truth. I would stay, but our duty demands we reach Biranu Station on our timetable. Be on guard, Captain. Excuse me, Jackson sirs, out. but we have company. Two warbirds uncloaking to starboard. Hailing us, sir. On screen. Greetings, Captain. I am Torel, commanding the warbird Soryak. With respect, Captain, do you have some business with us? The Romulan Star Empire is well aware of the incident in the Vesuvi system. That was troubling. Now we have further cause for concern. The Enterprise has been patrolling the Maelstrom for quite some time. Now Starfleet has introduced this second Sovereign-class ship to the Maelstrom. A somewhat disputed area. We must question the reasons for its presence and its relationship to the Vesuvi event. I can assure you neither Starfleet nor the Federation knows any more than you do about the cause of the Vesuvi incident. Two Sovereign-class vessels raise vast suspicions, Commander. Suspicions we are prepared to act on. Now. Sir, the Klingons have raised their shields and are powering up weapons. Let us see if these Romulans are truly prepared to act on these veiled threats. 
Who is threatening whom, Klingon? I do not threaten. I challenge. The Klingons have opened fire, Captain. Very well. They're firing on the Sovereign. We shall play. The Sovereign has taken some hits. Incoming transmission. Red alert, shields up. Down 25%. I'm shifting more power to the shields, but I don't think they're old. The Dauntless is yours, Captain. Captain? Captain? Your orders, Captain? Warbirds uncloaking again. They're firing. Captain Draxon on screen, sir. Dauntless, we are attacking now. Join us. Out. Report, Lieutenant. Looks like the Klingons are doing a good job at distracting the warbird. While the Romulans are busy with the birds of prey, we can take a moment to plan our attack. Your phaser fire will be more effective if you target specific subsystems on the warbirds. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Yes? To target subsystems, select a target, then click on its name again. This will give you access to a list of the ship's subsystems. Select the subsystem you wish Lieutenant Savali to attack. When a targeted subsystem is disabled, it will become grayed out. The subsystem that are destroyed will be removed from the targeted system. Sir, we are Lining draining their top torpedo. shield. Your orders, Captain? Yes. The Dauntless is staffed with three large repair teams, with each team working on one system. The systems currently being repaired appear at the top of the repair menu. Below them are all the other damaged systems on the ship. To switch a team to a system that is not currently being repaired, simply select it and it will move to the top of the repair list. Remember to repair systems essential to the ship's operation and survival first. These would include such items as the warp core and shield generator. Status on the Romulans, Lieutenant. They have some shield damage. We may have nailed the lead warbird's maneuvering thrusters. She's a little sluggish. They're Your turning order, about. sir. And cloaking. Where are Disengaging. they? Disengaging. Aye, Captain. Come on, uncloak again. You don't get your wish, Ensign. Looks like they've gone. Cancel red alert. Klingon birds of prey uncloaking. Captain Draxon, sir. On screen. It's past time for us to go on to Biranu Station, Captain. Although, this has been an interesting skirmish. I am also due at Biranu Station, Captain Draxon. With your permission, I will transfer to your ship for the final leg of the journey. We will be honored by your presence, Captain. Make your preparations and transport to us when you are ready. Draxon out. I'll take my leave of you now, Captain. Good luck. Transporter room reports Captain Picard is ready to beam over to the Rancouf, sir. Transporting now. Captain Picard has transferred to the Klingon ship. Long-range scanners indicate another ship entering this system. It's the Zukov. Incoming message from the Zukov, sir. Captain Verada in command, on screen. Dauntless, we have been assigned to complete the escort of the Sovereign to Space Dock. We will stand by until she is ready. You may proceed to the Vesuvi system to supply the surviving colonies there. Verata, out. Transmission from Sovereign, sir. On screen. We've been able to make sufficient repairs to allow us to warp, Captain. We're heading on to Starbase 12 with the Zukov. Thanks for your help. Soto out. The Klingons are leaving, sir. I suggest we do the same. We have to complete our run to the Vesuvi system, sir. Starfleet regulations require us to drop out of warp at the edge of the Vesuvi system before proceeding to the inner planets. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, aye.
First officer's personal log, star date 55297.3. I had a close look at the Sovereign yesterday. It was beautiful, an absolutely colossal ship. It was my hope that a chance to serve on such a vessel would come with my new posting. But Starfleet has its reasons for assigning me as first officer on the Dauntless. With Captain Wright's experience and knowledge, I could have learned a great deal. Starfleet will surely feel the loss of such a capable officer. My new captain is just that. New. We'll probably be learning some lessons together. The captain spent a lot of time as a first officer, but has only been on the Dauntless for the last four months. From what I've read in the service records, I'm sure the captain will be a fine example for me. The bridge feels a little more social than I'm used to. It's understandable that the crew should feel comfortable with their former first officer in command. But respect and discipline should always be maintained on the bridge of a starship. And I intend to make sure they are. Dropping out of warp, sir. We have arrived at Haven on the edge of the system. Shall we continue in toward the Geki colony? Your orders, sir? Sir, we should head to the Geki colony and deliver their supplies. Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. We have arrived at Vesuvi 5, sir. Standing by to establish orbit, Captain. Yes, sir? Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Entering standard orbit. Shall I hail the colony, sir? Yes, Captain. Hailing frequencies open. Incoming transmission from the Geki colony, sir. On screen. Better late than never, Dauntless. It's a good thing that most of our facilities are below ground. It saved us from the brunt of the Vesuvi event. Now that you've arrived, I'll transmit the coordinates for your teams to beam down to. I have the coordinates for the colony, sir. Ready to commence beam down operations. Transporter rooms two and three report all supplies and relief teams have been transferred to the surface. That will do, for now. I shall contact you if our needs should change. Thank you, Donalus. Takahara out. Sir, we are receiving an emergency transmission. It's pretty garbled. I'll boost the power to main comm array. That should clean it up. This is the Cardassian freighter Karoo. A Romulan vessel has attacked us. We have sustained heavy damage to our antimatter containment pods and are operating on emergency power. Please acknowledge. There's too much subspace interference to open a channel at this distance. The signal appears to emanate from the edge of the Beol system near Beol 4. Shall I set course? Captain, we must respond to this distress call. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Leaving orbit. Arriving at B old 4, sir. Dropping out of warp. The Karoon is signaling, sir. Audio only. We are taking heavy damage. Lost the signal, sir. Their comm array may have been damaged in the attack. I'm reading two unknown contacts in this system, Captain. Captain? Initiating scan. Resolving. It's a Cardassian freighter in a warbird, sir. 
The warbird is towing the Karun toward the system's asteroid belt. Why the asteroid belt? The asteroids would interfere with her communications. She wouldn't be able to send out another SOS. The Romulans could take her apart at their leisure. Yes, Captain? We are being hailed. On screen. Intercept course, plotted. Uh, Your order, sir? You again. Yes, Captain? Captain Turen, stand down immediately. You are attacking a ship protected by interplanetary law. So the law protects smugglers, does it? The treaty signed at the end of the Dominion War forbids the rearming of Cardassia's military. Scan them yourselves. I have no more time to waste with you. Torren out. Captain? Reading anything new, sir. Captain? Initiating scan. Running a standard scan on her, Captain. Results, Commander? I can't read her. She has a dampening field over her hull. That's odd. Are they hiding something? Perhaps the Romulans know something we don't. The Warbird Karun is cloaked. drifting toward the asteroid belt. Her engines are still down. Sir, I'm getting a weak signal from her. Audio only. Federation vessels manage to patch communications. Emergency power is fading. We're coming, Karun. Hold on. I can't detect the warbird. We should bring the Karun's speed to zero. Otherwise, it may drift into another asteroid. Moving within tractor beam range of the freighter, sir. Tractor emitters at full power. Engaging tractor beam. We have the Karun in tow. Incoming message from the Cardassian Gull, Captain. Captain, we are happy to see a Federation ship. We were making a supply run when the Romulan vessel ambushed us. We have been able to transfer power to our life support systems, but unless we get main power back online, we are not going anywhere. We've taken damage to our deuterium supply valves and our antimatter containment unit. Sir, we could send a team over to assist in the repairs. That would get the main drive back online. We are happy to accept the materials you offer, Captain, but we do not wish to inconvenience you too greatly. We can make the repairs ourselves. Warbird on cloaking, sir. They're Red firing alert, on shields us. shields up. Yes, sir. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Yes, Captain? She cloaked again. I'm projecting her course into the asteroid belt, sir. Captain? Warbird on cloaking again, sir. Attacks are draining their right shield.
Yes, Captain. Disengaging. Yes, Captain. Warbird on page to destroy, sir. Captain. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Warbird on cloaking again, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Their forward shield is draining. Falling back for an attack run. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Hi, Captain. Captain, our attacks are draining the right shield. Hi, Captain. Yes, Captain? Your orders, Captain? Warbird uncloaking again, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Moving into attack range. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Main power is at 50%. Falling back for an attack run. Disengaging. Yes, sir. We are being hailed. Cancel red alert. Excellent! You managed to drive them away. They'll think twice before preying on another helpless Cardassian freighter. They took some heavy damage, sir. I detect no other vessels. The area appears to be clear. Sir, may I ask your ship's cargo and destination? Relief supplies for an outlying outpost. The Federation was not the only one to suffer in the Vesuvi event. Very well. Good luck on the rest of your journey. Thank you for your assistance, Dauntless. We can continue with our repairs. Caroon out. So why the dampening field if it's just food and medicine? Maybe it helps keep the food fresh. I find it hard to believe that the Romulans would attack a freighter filled with relief supplies. I've informed Admiral Liu of our progress. Admiral Liu is responding. Good work defending the Caroon, Captain. The Romulan actions in this region have been erratic. We are unsure as to their motives. 
It is possible that they are acting on intelligence unknown to us. In the meantime, I have an urgent assignment for you, Captain. Starfleet Intelligence has received information regarding Ferengi vessels smuggling contraband to the Cardassians. Several suspicious activities have been reported in the Ceres system. Investigate. Try to keep it discreet. And find out what they're up to. Liu, out. Your orders, sir. Your orders, sir? We are ordered to investigate the reports of Ferengi smuggling in the Ceres system. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Captain, we can't go to warp while inside an asteroid field. I have created a nav point to get us out of the asteroid field. Yes, sir. Yes, Captain. Docking sequence initiated. Bringing her in again, eh? Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Approaching the Ceres system, sir. Dropping out of warp. Long range scan, sir? Yes, sir. Initiating scan. Something there. Hard to read at this distance. Near Ceres too. That's all I can get now, sir. If we keep our weapons and shields offline, it will be much harder to detect our ship. Yes, sir. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Approaching Ceres 2, sir. Scanners indicate three contacts in stationary orbit at Ceres 2. Sir, should I conduct a scan of the area? Yes, sir. Initiating scan. I'm reading a Ferengi Marauder, a Cardassian Galore, and a Keldon. Starfleet Registry identifies the Marauder as the Kravis, sir. Can they detect us? Not unless they can read us through a gas giant, Commander. We're out of their standard range. Unfortunately, we can't pick up any communications between the ships. There's too much interference from the gas giant. Even with shields and weapons offline, we'll still need to keep about 200 kilometers between us if we want to avoid detection. We could retreat behind the moon and eavesdrop from there, sir. Yes, Captain? Standard orbit. Aye, sir. We're clear of the gas giant, sir. 
They can't detect us with their sensors at this range. Can you read their communications, Ensign? We'll have to boost the sensor system, sir. Your orders, sir. Yes, sir? Better now. Much better. Entering standard orbit. Audio only, but I can put it on speaker. Informed you have great need of this equipment for your military. Surely you have no difficulty in understanding the old law of supply and demand. We have a contract. You will notice there is a forfeit clause. Forfeit? Your life and your ship. If we do not get our ship Coming right up, Gulf. Record the rest of it, Ensign. We'll review it later. Equipment for their military. They're forbidden to upgrade their ships or technology. Not without Federation knowledge. Hence, smuggling. Sir, the transfer has been made. The Cardassian ships are leaving. They've gone to warp. Your the orders, Marauder Captain. is still on impulse power. It'll take them take a few out, minutes Ensign. to be up to full warp capacity. Intercept Shall we engage course? the Marauder, Plotted. sir? Leaving orbit. Yes, sir? The Marauder spotted us. She's increased her speed, sir. Guess he doesn't want to get caught. Sir, do you want to disable her? Red alert, shields up. Yes, Captain? Captain, the Marauder is sending out a distress call to the Cardassians. We have to shut her down fast, sir. Marauder is firing back. Shields are holding. That's it, sir. Both her warp engines are offline. Hail the Marauder, Ensign. Marauder, this is the USS Dauntless. Identify yourself. Yes, Dauntless. You have damaged us for no reason and... Get him on screen, Ensign. Oh. Yes, greetings, Captain. Damon Prague in command of the Crave is here. Doing a little business, were you, Damon? A female, speaking to me. Captain, it is insufferable that I, I am a should Starfleet have to... officer, Daemon. You've just violated about 20 Federation laws by aiding a former enemy. What would Nagus Rom think of that? Now, what was your business with the Cardassians? This was a simple transport contract. I, I, I picked up a cargo and delivered it. Just that. 
What was the cargo? Truly, I do not know. Oh, please don't tell me you didn't peek. What was it? Very tightly sealed. I... I couldn't open it. it. It was a plain container. There was nothing to even hint at the contents. Truly. How about an educated guess? Captain, the Cardassians have come back. They heard his SOS. Position? Edge of the system. Coming fast. We will continue this later, Prague. Yes, sir? Yes, sir? Your order, sir? Engaging to destroy, Captain. Aye, aye. You're coming Your under orders, fire, Captain? sir. Didn't we just save their freighter? What's going on here? Incoming Your transmission. Orders, Captain? They're firing at us! Dauntless, you must protect us until we have warp capacity. I'll tell you everything I know. Please, Dauntless! Moving into attack, sir. The aft shield is draining. Your order, sir. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Moving into attack range. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Main power is at 50%. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 20%. Moving into attack range. Target hull integrity They're at 20%. Their warp engines are engaged. They've warped out. Daemon Prague is signaling. On screen. Cancel red alert. Dauntless, I thank you for your protection. Interesting. Especially since you called for the Cardassians to come back in the first place. Clearly an error on my part. I must apologize. I apologize. We part on a friendly basis, do we not? Friendly? That depends on what you deliver to the Cardassians. Ah, oh, well, um... I received a shipment from a trader near the neutral zone. The Cardassians were most anxious to get it. It's some piece of equipment they do not have. Perhaps they're not allowed to have it. They were concerned that my ship not go through any Federation inspection point. And of course, you didn't. My course didn't take me near one. It happens. I'm sure it happens frequently with you, Daemon. Expect a financial levy on your profit from this venture from the Grand Nagus. I doubt he'll be happy with you once we inform him of your activities. Dauntless out. I'm sure he had more to say. Pity we won't hear it. The Marauder's warp engines are back online and powered up. 
Very efficient repair crews, I'd say. Kravis is warping out. We've gotten all the information we can here. Reporting our status to Starfleet. Admiral Liu is responding, routing to the view screen. Hello, Dauntless. I've sent your transmission on to the intelligence experts. An open attack on a Federation vessel is a serious event, but may only be the action of a small faction inside the Cardassian military. Which brings me to your next assignment. We received garbled signals from Klingon and Cardassian ships resupplying at Biranu Station. It appears the Klingons and Cardassians are on the verge of open conflict. Captain Picard has asked us to send a Federation starship to help defuse the situation. Yours is the only ship close enough to respond. We lost contact with the station shortly after they transmitted their distress call. Considering the Cardassian attack on the Dauntless, I am concerned for the well-being of the station. Proceed to Biranu immediately. Liu out. Standing by to change course, sir. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Approaching Biranu Station, sir. I have a visual on the station, sir. There are two Klingon birds of prey and four Cardassian Galore class vessels. Maybe it's a party. Picking up ship to ship transmissions, audio only. Cardassian swine! You wallow in the mud of your past, claiming glory. I've identified the Klingon ships as the Rankhoof and the Treor. You are a shadow. You are nothing. No information on the Cardassian vessels, sir. We're a little weak in that area of the registry. Continuing to monitor ship to ship transmissions, sir. Incoming message from Biranu Station, sir. Good to see you again, Captain. I've tried to reason with the Klingons and Cardassians, but the two seem intent on battle. As you can tell, the situation with the Klingon and Cardassian ships is disintegrating rapidly. You are ordered to stay out of it if a skirmish ensues. Biranu Station is neutral and Starfleet is not involved. Stand by for further orders. Sir, the Cardassians are hailing us. Ah. A Federation vessel. We wish no harm on you, but perhaps you can muzzle your Klingon dogs. Call us dogs. Then you shall feel our fight. Sir, the birds of prey have cloaked. If it's a beating these Klingons desire, I will be more than happy to accommodate them. Captain, the Klingons have decloaked and are opening fire on the Galores. Your Seems the Klingons Captain? have gone and done it again. The Cardassians have fired on Your the orders, birds of prey. Sir. We're on a leash. Intercept you heard course, our orders, Ensign. We stay out of it. Kapla, Captain. Join us, and together we shall uphold the honor of both the Federation and the Klingon Empire. Yes, sir. The third Cardassian looks like he's maneuvering for a firing pass on the station, sir. Red alert, shields up. Report, Lieutenant. I could be wrong. No, there. One of the Galores has opened fire on the station. Attacking a Engaging defensive to destroy, station, Captain. some challenge for a warrior race. What did you expect? They're Cardassian. It's what they live for. Belay that talk, Ensign. At least until later. Captain, I'm receiving a transmission from Biranu Station. On screen now, sir. The raft shields are failing, Captain. And I am assuming command here. We have been severely damaged. We must protect this station. Looks like we got their attention, sir. The Galore is turning to engage. At least we succeeded in luring them off the station. Sir, we are being hailed by one of the Klingon ships. Audio only. Yes, sir. Hail, Dauntless. Our ventral shields are draining, the sir. Face of the aggressor. Good of them. Death to the Cardassians! The Klingons maneuvering and firing patterns are erratic. Unless they watch themselves, they could hit the station. Typical. They just run and shoot and don't care if it's a friend or foe in their sights. Enough of that, Commander. These are our allies, right now. Their forward shield is draining. Your orders, Captain? Their top shield has failed. 
sweeping through phaser arcs. Orders, sir. Tightening up rear integrity at 25%. Tubes. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Target hull integrity at 25%. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Yes, sir. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Shield has failed, Captain. Target hull integrity at twenty per cent. Their forward shield is draining. Captain, we're going to collide with that Their top shield derelict. has failed. Sir, the Cardassians are turning tail. Dauntless gunning, Cardassians running. That's what I like to hear. The surviving Galores have warped out of the region. Captain, the Klingons are hailing us. Cowards, they have no stomach for battle. I will give them the death they deserve. Cancel red alert. Come, Captain, the chase begins. Draxon out. Their course suggests that they're headed to Biranu One. Should we pursue, sir? Your orders, sir? Sir, we must defend Biranu Station against the Cardassian attack. Captain? Course laid in. Yes, sir. Transmission from Captain Draxon, sir. They run like the cowards they are. Join us, Dauntless. Join us in Red the Red alert, shields up. The forward shield is draining. Your order, sir. shield is draining, sir. Sir, incoming message from Captain Picard. Dauntless, our sensors show two more Galore-class ships Sir, the right us. shield has We failed. are defenseless. You must return now. The Cardassian Galores are closing on the station. They are not responding to hails. Return to Biranu Force Station immediately. In. Yes, Captain. Emergency transmission from Captain Picard, sir. Dauntless, I'm putting out an emergency distress signal to all ships within range. You must hold off the Galores. Picard out. Captain, the Birinu station just lost their shield generator. They're wide open to attack.
Engaging to destroy, Captain. Shield is draining, Captain. integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 20%. Sir, a Klingon bird of prey has just entered the system. Audio signal from Klingon vessel Grand Kouf, sir. We heard Viridu stations call for help, Dauntless. We have broken off the chase to assist you. Cooperation from the Klingons? That's new. There are those among us who have respect for your Captain Picard. There will be no honor in his loss here, this day. Sir, the Klingons are engaging the Dolores. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Collapse their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 75%. Sir, the station is taking a heavy pounding. They can't last much longer. Transmission from the station. It's weak, but I can amplify it. On screen. Sir, we're about to collide with a large mass of debris. Their bottom shield is draining, signal, sir. sir. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Your order, sir. Moving into attack range. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Target hull integrity at 75%. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Main power is at 50%. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Falling back for an Cancel attack Cancel red alert. Sir, that's the last of them. I believe we're in the clear.
Transmission from Biranu Station, sir. On screen. Well done, Captain. You and your crew are to be commended. Your assistance and that of our Klingon comrades has been very much appreciated. We have taken severe damage and casualties. Survivors will have to be evacuated to Starbase 12. It is unclear why the Cardassians would attack this station so openly, but this incident proves how close we are to war. Your intervention allowed me enough time to identify a symbol I recognized on the Galores as that of House Arterius. This raises many questions. However, we must assume our communications are not secure at this time. I will speak with Admiral Liu about my concerns later. I have received word that a Federation vessel is on its way to facilitate a full evacuation to Starbase 12. Admiral Liu has ordered you to remain nearby and post a guard until the ship arrives. The San Francisco should be here to relieve you soon. Until then, keep watch and contact me if anything appears on the sensors. Picard out. Signal from Starfleet, Captain. Admiral Liu. Greetings, Captain. Your defense of Bironu Station was highly commendable. You've received excellent marks from Captain Picard for your actions, which will be entered in your service jacket. Well done. We have acted on Captain Picard's information. I am currently attempting to contact the Cardassian government. Until I have discussed this with the Cardassian command, House Arterius may be regarded as pirates. We can't trust anything the Cardassians say. Nonetheless, Ensign, we must wait for the Cardassian command's response before starting another war. Respectfully, Commander, Cardassians have no rules. They're all outlaws. Chief Engineer Brex's personal log, Stardate 55310.5. We returned to Starbase 12, and Admiral Liu informed us that the entire Dauntless crew is being transferred to the Sovereign. Getting a Sovereign-class ship, that's a huge leap for a fourth assignment. Only Commander LaForge has had the luxury of tinkering with this design. Until now. The ship itself is wondrous, but it took me a year and a half to get the Dauntless running like I wanted. I'm just getting started with the Sovereign. But as the legendary Montgomery Scott once said, there's nothing like the impossible to bolster one's miraculous reputation. Captain on the bridge. Sir, we've completed the first pass of all ship essential systems. There are quite a few loose screws, as Chief Brex put it. Loose screws, nuts, and bolts, Commander. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. On screen. Greetings, Captain, and congratulations on your new command. I see you've already settled in. Because of your outstanding service, you and your crew have been selected to lead the investigation into the destruction of Vesuvi. You've been given command of the Sovereign to help in this task. Treat her well. The Sovereign is a fine ship, the first in her class. We refitted her after five years in mothballs and commissioned her for this assignment. The Sovereign was a prototype ship, fitted with an experimental shield system which failed during initial field tests. Before you begin, you'll need to take your new ship out on a shakedown cruise. It will give us an opportunity to work out any bugs in the enhanced deflector dish, upgraded sensor pallets, and her regenerative shield system. The Sovereign is equipped with more powerful quantum torpedoes, in addition to the standard photons. Use these sparingly, Captain, as Starbase 12 will be unable to resupply your quantums until a shipment arrives from Earth. Commander Larson has your checklist for the shakedown. I believe you will find it an adequate test of your systems. When you've completed your cruise, return to Starbase 12. Take good care of the Sovereign, Captain. She's a lot of ship, but I'm confident you can handle her. Liu out. I have our checklist, Captain. Running startup sequence now. Main systems powering up, Captain. Impulse and warp engines online. Main deflector and sensor subsystems online. Weapons and targeting systems online. We are being hailed. On screen. Sovereign. You're cleared to leave for your shakedown cruise. Ready to leave space dock on your orders. Take us out, Ensign. One quarter impulse. Aye, aye, Commander. Ahead one quarter impulse. We have cleared space doors. Our first item is testing the warp drive. We should plot a course for Savoy 1.
Yes, sir. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. We've arrived in the Savoy system. Just a bit shaken. That ride was a little rough, Chief. Can you do anything about it? I think so, Commander. It's the inertial dampeners. One of our graviton generators is operating at 20 millicochrons less than the standard IDF system output. I'll run a diagnostic on it later to track down the problem. I'll be down in main engineering bringing another generator online to compensate. The ride should be much smoother next time. Yes, sir. We need to go to the Savoy One tactical testing grounds. Yes, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, sir. arrived at Savoy 1, Captain. Are we clear to test the tactical systems now? The weapon systems are the next item on our checklist, Lieutenant, but let's follow procedure, shall we? Mr. Diaz, sensors online. Has the phaser range target been towed to its position? Yes, Commander. Captain, we should test our sensors by scanning asteroid Amagon for compositional analysis. Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. The asteroid is comprised of some nickel, and something else. Something else? Hardly a scientific appraisal. I can't tell, Commander. The nickel easily stands out, but the sensors are having trouble identifying the rest of the asteroid's composition. It's like all my readings are being bounced back at me. Ensign, hail Chief Brexen Engineering. On screen. Yes, Commander? Chief, we're experiencing problems with the sensors. I know. I think it's the enhanced deflector. Doesn't enhanced usually mean better? It is better in most respects. It has upgraded EM scanners, both wide and narrow angle. The gravimetric distortion package has been updated with the latest imaging data available. Results, please, Chief. I'll boost the warp core intermix ratios to generate more power to make full use of the enhanced deflector and the lateral sensor pallets. Much better. The imaging is clearing up. I'm reading 45% nickel, 22% uranium composite, 13% iron, and 20% ice. Sounds like we've got our sensors working. Captain, the range is ours. We should yes, commence sir. phaser testing. Captain? When we hit the asteroid, yes, Captain? Savoy Station will send us telemetry we can use to align the targeting systems. Red alert, shields up. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Rex, what's going on with my phasers? All the arrays are firing randomly. I'm working on it. Just keep firing so I can trace the problem. Sweeping through phaser arcs. I've got it. The problem's localized in the phaser function command processor. The rewritable symbolic code algorithms aren't calculating the proper targeting vectors. I'll have to overwrite the old command algorithms and replace them with new ones. That should do it. Shall we move on to the next item on our checklist? We're scheduled to test quantum torpedoes and regenerative shields next. Cancel red Captain, alert. Captain, I have another vessel on an intercept course. It's the Geronimo. Incoming message from the Geronimo, sir. Open a channel, Ensign. Aye, sir. On screen. Greetings, Commander. Oh, I mean, Captain. I'm Captain Gregory McRae. It looks like we're just in time. On time? I'm sorry, Captain McRae. I'm not sure what you mean. For your tactical systems tests, we could help you out with a wee exercise for both our crews. Just what exercise did you have in mind? 
You can't expect to test those systems properly and a few floating rocks. What you need is a moving target, one that'll bite you back. Is that a challenge, Captain McRae? Aye, Commander. That would be the proper term for it, a challenge. So what do you say to a little friendly war game? I'm not sure what the correct protocol is here, Captain, but we're ready if you want to take on the Geronimo. Excellent, Captain. I'll have my tactical officer switch to simulation mode immediately. Shall we begin? That's fine, Captain McRae. We'll be ready for you. Felix, switch to tactical simulation mode. Aye, Commander. Simulation mode activated. Entering Your orders, combat Captain. simulation. Weapons are set to one one thousandth power. Loading dummy Mark IV torpedo casings. Red alert, shields up. Quite a fighter, Ready to engage, experience. sir. I'd be happy to Engaging give you advice to destroy, the Captain. points of tactical combat. Moving into attack range. Your orders, sir? Captain? Sweeping through phaser arcs. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Moving into attack range. Left shield is draining, Captain. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Power is at fifty per cent. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Sir, we are draining their top shield. <laughs> nice hit, Captain. We'll see if we can return the favor. Sir, 
there, we are draining their top shield. Main power is fluctuating, Captain. We'll have to reduce power to some systems. Main power is offline. Impressive ship you have there, but I fight to the bitter end. Attacks are draining their right shield. Auxiliary power is at 50%. The Geronimo Sir, has been destroyed. Sir, we are not yet ready to engage. Ending simulation. <laughs> a good match, Captain. A try to remember it takes more than a big gun to win a shootout. Experience and skill will always triumph. Two Klingon birds of prey decloaking dead ahead. One of them appears to be Captain Drax's ship. We're in danger of colliding Kuf. with another ship, Captain. Their weapons are set to simulation mode as well. Is this part of the exercise? Sir. Message from the Klingons. Allies, we could not resist the opportunity to join your brave games. Let us dispense with the formalities and test our true metal under fire. Well then, this ought to even the odds a bit. No problem. The more the merrier. Stow it, Chief. Just keep everything in proper order and record the amount of simulated damage we do to those ships. Aye, Commander. 
Entering combat simulation. Weapons are set to 1 1,000th power. Loading dummy Mark IV torpedo casings. Ready You're to engage, sir. Reassign more Red power alert, to your shields teams. up. Sir, another ship is on a collision course with us. You're doing well, Captain. But keep in mind that smaller ships can sneak into the blind areas of a starship's firing arcs. Their forward shield is draining. Central shields are draining, sir. You don't have an infinite supply of torpedoes. Fire more carefully. Target hull integrity at 75%. Sir, the Rancouf has reported sufficient simulated hull breaches to warrant destruction. Ending simulation. Incoming message from the Klingons. Sir, we Captain, are not yet Captain, ready to Luke, engage. We're on a collision course. Your ship and crew fight well. Sir, so, we are not yet ready to engage. True. Starfleet does have warriors in its ranks. It has been an honor, Captain. Perhaps we will meet again on the field of battle. Now I must return to my duties. Kapla! The Klingon ships have left the system. That's a hell of a way to test a new ship at the end of its shakedown cruise. Ensign, open a channel. Captain McRae, what's your status? All's well, Sovereign. That was a good bit of fighting. I'll see you back at the Starbase. The Geronimo has left the system. That completes our checklist, Captain. The Sovereign is an incredible ship, and the crew performed admirably. You should be proud. I will relay our current status to Starfleet Command. Incoming message from Starfleet. On screen. Greetings, Captain. I see from your first officer's report that everything on the Sovereign is in working order. The relief efforts in the Vesuvi system are still proceeding. Now that our people are safe, we've sent in a science vessel to try to determine what caused the solar pulse. The USS Berkeley, under command of Captain Elizabeth Haley, is leading the investigation with the help of Commander Data from the Enterprise. Because of extremely high radiation levels, they've been having difficulty in penetrating the residual gas clouds. The more powerful shielding on the Sovereign will be helpful in the investigation. Commander Dado will join you to assist the science team in the search for the cause of the incident. Rendezvous with the Berkeley in the Vesuvi system. Once Commander Dado is on board, he will give you further instructions. Liu out. Yes, Captain. Switching to photon torpedoes, Captain. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, aye.
We've arrived in the Vesuvi system, sir. Sir, I'm reading a Romulan warbird on the other side of the planet. It looks like she's preparing to warp. Track its course. Aye, Commander. One moment. The warbird is heading to the Vesuvi dust cloud. That's the same way we're going. Let's follow. Course laid in for the dust cloud. Your orders, sir. Aye, aye. We've arrived at the outer edge of the dust cloud, sir. There's no sign of the warbird. The USS Berkeley is nearby. Shall I hail them? Captain? Intercept course plotted. Hailing frequencies open. Greetings, Captain. I'm Elizabeth Haley, Captain of the Berkeley. I'm glad you're here. Commander Data is prepared to beam over. Commander Data has beamed aboard, sir. It's been frustrating trying to wade through the dense cloud of radiation and dust left from the Vesuvi event. I'm sure you'll have greater success with your newly enhanced deflector and sensor palettes. This star gave every indication it was going to last another 10 billion years. We hoped that by scanning some of the ejected surface debris from the face of the star, we might be able to piece together what happened. I believe Commander Data can elaborate. Yes, I can. We managed to triangulate possible locations of the star's debris, but were unable to get close enough to scan the dust cloud with any success. Welcome aboard, Commander. Have a seat. Thank you. To continue, as we went deeper into the cloud, radiation levels increased and were a constant drain on the shields. After three attempts, the Berkeley fell back to its current position and contacted Starfleet for a ship with stronger shielding. We're hoping the Sovereign can get in there and collect the information we need to further our studies. Chief, what do you think? Well, it'll definitely be a balancing act, Commander. The radiation will be a significant drain on the Sovereign's shields, but I think I can buy us enough time to scan for the star's debris. Great. We're transmitting the information we've already gathered to you now. I'm confident you and Commander Data will be able to finish the job. Thank you, Captain. I'm receiving the data now. I look forward to seeing your results. We'll see you when you get back. Haley out. I have isolated four regions of the dust cloud that might contain stellar debris from the face of the star. They are entered into the con. Confirmed. Courses to four nav points have been plotted. We can go to any of these points to begin our search. Then we're set. Shall we head in, Captain? Yellow alert. Shields up. Your orders, sir? Yes, Captain? Yes, sir. Entering the dust cloud. Captain, there are several debris fragments in the area that could be matter from the star's surface. We should scan them. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a cluster of inert matter and not stellar debris. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a remnant of one of the planets. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a remnant of one of the planets. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. Yes, sir.
Captain, there are several debris fragments in the area that could be matter from the star's surface. We should scan them. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a remnant of one of the planets. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a cluster of inert matter and not stellar debris. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a cluster of inert matter and not stellar debris. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a remnant of one of the planets. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. Yes, sir. Captain, there are several debris fragments in the area that could be matter from the star's surface. We should scan them. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a remnant of one of the planets. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. Initiating scan. Sensors indicate this is a remnant of one of the planets. This is not the stellar debris we are looking for. Initiating scan. Our scanners are reading the stellar matter's composition. High levels of hydrogen and some helium, but very little iron or other heavy elements. Captain, we have located the stellar debris from the Vesuvi star, as we suspected. Supernovas occur naturally when the heavier elements created by solar fusion suffocate the reactions in a star. The resulting solar pulse was created by bringing the star to the threshold of collapse. This event had to have been caused by an outside force. Once we return to the Berkeley, I can run advanced simulations on the information we have gathered and create a profile of what might have occurred. Sir, we're receiving an emergency distress call from the Berkeley. The transmission is pretty garbled, but I think I can clean it up a bit. Unknown vessels are disabled and we have sustained heavy damage. Please assist. Message repeats. Mayday, Mayday. This is the USS Berkeley to all. We are under attack from unknown vessels. The Berkeley is not a combat vessel, Captain. I recommend we return to her position immediately. Do we have everything we need, Mr. Diaz? Affirmative, Commander. All readings have been cataloged. Your orders, Captain. Yes, sir.
We are being hailed. On screen. Sovereign, thank heaven you came back. You must have frightened off whoever attacked us. We are leaving the us. dust cloud. Can you identify the attacker, Captain Haley? Negative, Commander. The radiation and dust completely blocked them from our sensors. There was no sign of their approach until they were on us. We are operating on emergency power, and our long-range communications are offline. You'll have to notify Starfleet of our situation. Why would anyone attack a lightly armed science vessel? To frighten it away from the area, perhaps. It could be there is something here someone does not want us to find. Then why not attack us? We were closer to the core. To draw the Sovereign back here, away from the stellar debris. I surmise the information we gathered will prove very useful in solving this mystery. Sir, we should contact Starfleet and inform them of the Berkeley situation. Your orders, sir? Reporting our status to Starfleet. Admiral Liu is responding. Captain, I've received the data on the stellar material you found and assigned a team to analyze it. The Federation is most disturbed by your discovery. The fact that the Vesuvi star did not come to its end by natural causes is a matter of utmost concern. I've been given assurances that the Federation is putting the highest priority into the research of your data. I'll keep you apprised. I've sent a recovery team to assist the Berkeley. If you feel she can hold out to their arrival, I want you to track down the attackers. An unprovoked attack on a Federation science vessel is a serious matter and must not go unanswered. We cannot allow others to assault our ships at will. Use whatever means necessary, Captain. I leave the matter in your hands. Contact me when you have some significant information. Liu out. Sensors indicate the unknown vessel entered the dust cloud. Its engines have left trace subspace distortion pockets in their wake. I have plotted a new waypoint into the con. New craft entering the area. It's the relief vessel that will take the Berkeley home. Very well. Captain, now that the Nightingale has arrived, we can begin the hunt for their attacker. Captain? Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Your orders, Captain. Entering the dust cloud. Yes, Captain? Scanners indicate a small object or device ahead of us, Captain. It's a configuration I'm unfamiliar with. Yes, Captain? It appears to be a probe of some sort. Perhaps we should scan it. Initiating scan. The energy signature is building exponentially. I believe a self-destruct sequence has been activated. The probe has been destroyed. Any ideas as to what it was doing here? Perhaps an intelligence probe left to gather information about us. The probe was composed mostly of silicate, which is uncommon, to say the least. It is also possible another race is investigating the recent occurrences in the Vesuvi system, just as we are. There isn't much we can do about it now. We can't be distracted from our mission. Based on readings from this region, I have plotted the possible destination of the unknown vessel that attacked the Berkeley. I've added the new coordinates to the con, sir. Yes, Captain? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are leaving the dust cloud.
I am no longer detecting any sign of the alien ship. I am sorry, Captain, but I lost the trail. Wait a minute. I'm detecting the remains of a ship. It appears to be what's left of a Romulan warbird. No doubt the same ship that attacked the Berkeley did this as well. It must have been a powerful ship to destroy a Romulan warbird. Two Romulan warbirds have just exited warp. They are powering weapons. Red alert. We're receiving a message from the Romulans. On screen. This is Captain Terek of the Romulan Empire. So, the Federation now destroys ships and whole systems to stop anyone who dares challenge its rule. We are not the aggressors here, Captain. We're as baffled by these attacks as you are. Save your lives and prepare yourself for destruction. Shields are taking the brunt of it, but they can't hold against this for too long. We are outnumbered, but the radiation dust cloud could work to our advantage. If we withdraw into it, it will be difficult for them to lock weapons. It will also make it difficult for us, Commander. What other choice do we have? I've plotted a course back to the dust cloud, sir. Entering the dust cloud. We're receiving a message from the Romulans. On screen. Excellent tactics, Captain. The radioactive dust will enable you to track us with our cloaking shields engaged. But we did not come to fight as cowards. We came to tear the flesh from your treacherous bones. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Yes, Captain. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Moving into attack range. Falling back for an attack run. Moving into attack range. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Their bottom shield is burning, sir. Falling back for an attack run. Their 
forward shield is draining. Shield has failed. Main power is at fifty percent. Impressive, Captain. It's seldom any one Target hull integrity at 75%. The next time we meet, Captain, you will not be so Target fortunate. hull integrity at 75%. Yes, Captain? We should inform Starfleet of our encounter with the Romulans. Stand down weapons. All stations, yellow alert. Yes, sir. Captain? We are leaving the dust cloud. Yes, Captain. Hailing Admiral Lou. She's responding. I'm disappointed by your inability to find the Berkeley's attackers, but I'm sure you did your best. However, I'm very impressed with your handling of the encounter with the Romulans, Captain. It is a testament to the skills of you and your crew that you were able to survive an encounter with a superior Romulan force. There were people who said I was unwise to give you the Sovereign Captain. Those voices are silent now. Your encounter with the Romulans is most disturbing. It appears the Berkeley isn't the only vessel that's been attacked. Other ships in that area have been damaged or destroyed. Some survivors have cited the Cardassians or the Romulans as the aggressors. But most, like the Berkeley, were unable to identify their attackers. I received word from the Cardassian government. They have denied responsibility for the attack on Birunu Station. Their reply states House Arterius has severed connections with the government and gone rogue. These reports of Cardassian and Romulan aggressiveness are leading to a diplomatic crisis. We cannot take action against the Cardassians or the Romulans without proof of some kind. It is imperative we know who is responsible for these attacks. From our intelligence, it appears the majority of the attacks have occurred in three systems. The Itari system, the Voltaire system, and the Zion Trades system. Patrol these areas thoroughly, Captain, and watch for any aggressors. Keep me informed of your progress. Liu, out. Your orders, Captain? We must investigate all systems in our patrol area to discover who is responsible for these attacks. We must warp to the Zion Trades system as part of our patrol route.
cancel yellow alert. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Sir, two Romulan warbirds are decloaking directly in front of us. Red alert, shields up. We are being hailed, Captain. Federation ship, surrender or be destroyed. Captain, why are you challenging us? Several of our ships have been destroyed or have gone missing in this area. No doubt you are responsible. Federation ships have come under attack in this area as well. We are investigating. Do not try to fool us. We are not so easily swayed. What can we do to prove that we have no hostile intent? If we are to believe you, drop your shields as a sign of good faith. Ensign, mute audio. Aye, sir. First two things they teach you at the Academy. Never drop your shields and never trust the Romulans. I have to agree with the Chief, Commander. I don't think it's a good idea. Admiral Liu mentioned a diplomatic crisis. I recommend we avoid confrontation if possible. Captain, the choice is yours. Resume audio. Aye, sir. Federation ship, you have 60 seconds to comply. Your orders, Captain? Cancel red alert. We are being hailed, Captain. I may have been wrong about you, Captain. The Romulans and the Federation have not always been on the best of terms, yet you choose to trust us. Captain, you've been patrolling this area. We have been in this area for the last several days. Do you have any information about what is happening here? We've been tracking a distinct increase in Cardassian activity throughout the Maelstrom. From the evidence we've gathered, I would surmise they are being aided by an unknown source. That is all I know. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Until we meet again, Captain. The Romulan warbirds are leaving the system. Can't say I'm sorry to see the hind end of their engines. We should move on to the next system in our patrol route, Captain. Captain? Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Captain, I'm receiving a distress signal from the Ferengi ship, the Kravis. Where is it coming from? It originated near Voltaire 1. Yes, sir. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Long-range scans are picking up the Ferengi vessel, sir. The Marauder is under attack by several Galores. One of the Galores has changed course and is headed right for us. Captain, perhaps we should raise shields? Red alert, shields up. Sir, we have been engaged by a Cardassian Galore. The other two Galores are continuing their attack on the Kravis. Your the Kravis order, is outnumbered and outgunned. I don't think she can hold out very long without help. Moving into attack range. Yes, Captain? Sir, we are draining their top shield. Your orders, Captain? Their top shield has failed. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Moving into attack range.
Moving into attack range. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Captain. Our attacks are draining their right shield. Captain, we have collapsed their Falling bottom back shield. For an attack run. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Target hull integrity at 50%. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Captain, the Cardassian ships have withdrawn. The Marauder Captain is hailing us, sir. On screen. This is Damon Prague of the Kravis. A thousand thank yous, Federation vessel. Mere latinum could not express the joy we feel for your charitable acts. Hello, Damon. You again, Commander. Well, we are not unhappy to see you with your new expensive vessel. Expensive and well-armed, Damon. But don't worry, there is no charge for our help. Excellent. Very well, then. We wish you much good fortune in your journeys. Goodbye. We could use some information, though. There have been a number of unprovoked attacks in the area, and we intend to put a stop to them. Ah, yes. As rule of acquisition number 34 states, war is good for business. Damon Prague. I am not fool enough to stand between the Federation and its enemies. Ask your questions. I will answer as best I can, and I won't even charge a fee. We are looking for information about who is behind the attacks. Surely a daemon of your means has information regarding this matter. I have some sources. They tell me the Cardassians have recently begun a build-up of forces in the area. In fact, we were traveling through this sector with a load of leukocyte ore when we were attacked, without provocation. We tried the standard bribes, but they ignored us. It makes no sense. There are more valuable cargoes than mine to raid. What about the Romulans? Were they involved? My sources tell me the Romulans are no more involved than the Federation or Klingons. They are simply here to investigate the recent attacks. Now, if that will be all, we have repairs to make. We should move on to the next system in our patrol route, Captain. Yes, Captain? Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your orders, Captain. Docking sequence initiated. Hello, Captain. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Aye, aye.
Captain. I'm detecting several Cardassian and Romulan ships. The Romulans appear to be outnumbered. Sir, the Romulans are broadcasting a distress call on all frequencies. Captain, the Romulan warbird is the Cairo, commanded by Captain Tarek. That's the same warbird that attacked us at Vesuvi. One of the warbirds is heavily damaged and won't last long. Shall we assist? After they attacked us? Starfleet regulations require us to respond to any distress call. Lieutenant, target the lead Cardassian ship and prepare to engage. Aye, Commander. We are being hailed Red alert, by the warbird, shields sir. Up. On screen. Captain. I'm Engaging to destroy, to join your Cardassian friends. Sir, they've cut transmission. Your orders, sir? Moving into attack range. Yes, sir. The RAF shield has failed, Captain. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Falling back for an attack run. Moving into attack range. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 25%. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Moving into attack range. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. The RAF shield has failed, Captain. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Falling back for an attack run. Lining up forward torpedo Their forward tubes. shield is draining. Target hull integrity at 50%. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 20%. Moving into attack range. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Moving into attack range. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Their top shield has failed. Target hull integrity at 75%.
power is at 50%. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Target hull integrity at 20%. shield is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at 50%. Engaging IR. Cancel red alert. We are being hailed by the warbird, sir. On screen. Captain, I. I. Uh, ever since I was a child, I have been taught that no human can be trusted. It seems I was taught incorrectly. I thought you destroyed one of the ships under my command. Since you were in the area, I assumed you were responsible. I misjudged you, Captain. If we cross paths again, you will not find me your enemy. Good day. The Warbird has left the system. Sir, I am receiving a distress call. It's coming from the Belarus system. I'm putting it on screen. This is Captain Corvus of the Junka to all ships in range. We are chasing an unidentified craft that attacked us. I invite any combat-worthy vessels to join us in our hunt. Much glory awaits you. The signal originated near the Belarus system. The Belarus system is a long way away by maximum warp. I doubt we could get there in time to be of much help. However, we may jeopardize the Federation's relations with the Klingons if we don't go. Your orders, sir? Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Captain, two Klingon birds of prey and one Vorcha class cruiser decloaking to starboard. We are being hailed. On screen. Ah. An honorable Starfleet warrior. I regret, Captain, you are too late. The enemy got away. What happened? 
We came to this system in search of the Gondev, a bird of prey with whom we lost contact. When we arrived, we encountered a strange vessel. We hailed the ship on all frequencies, but they did not respond. Were they Cardassians or Romulans? Neither, Commander. Who was it then? The High Council has declared that information secret. In short, I can't tell you what we saw, but I can tell you this. The vessel wasn't like any ship I've ever seen. Unless, of course, the Federation is developing a new line of ships they plan on using against the Empire. That is beneath contempt. We won't dignify that with a response. Regardless, Captain, we were attacked without provocation and we responded with lethal force. It turned tail and ran. We followed, but they managed to disable our ships. They may be cowards, but their weapons are incredibly accurate. Can you maneuver at all, sir? Repairs are underway. We expect to be operational momentarily. However, our sensors were also damaged in the attack and we have been unable to locate the Gondev. Will you perform a scan of the area for us? Your order, sir. Initiating scan. Captain, our sensors are picking up faint readings near one of the asteroids. It appears to be a Klingon bird of prey. We must not have picked it up due to the radiation interfering with our sensors. Hail the John Ka, Ensign. What have you found, Captain? There is a Klingon bird of prey near one of the asteroids. It may very well be the Gondev. We are transmitting the coordinates to you now. Good. We'll have our engines online in a moment. Are there any life signs? Commander, scan the derelict ship for life signs. Sir, there is too much radiation to get a good sensor reading at this distance. We'll need to be within 20 kilometers to scan for life signs. Yes, sir. Intercept course plotted. Initiating scan. There are no life signs. I'm detecting weapons energy residue of a type not in our database. Whatever destroyed it must have been extremely powerful. Captain, I'm picking up several Cardassian ships warping into the system. They came back to finish the job. Believe me, the ships that attacked us were not Cardassian. The Cardassians are hailing us. This is Legate Matan, head of House Arterius and commander of the Cardassian fleet in the Maelstrom. You are trespassing in our space and are required to leave now. We are looking for survivors of one of our ships that vanished near here. Tell us where they are. Cardassians do not capture Klingon crews. They are too primitive to be of any value. If one of my vessels encountered your people, they are now handfuls of dust. Perhaps you wish the same fate. Insolent Topa! Topa? Your insult wounds me, Klingon. Since I cannot hope to equal your wit, I shall communicate with you on a level you will understand. Captain, the Cardassians have opened fire on the Klingons. Red alert, shields up. Your orders, Captain? Your orders, sir? Moving into attack range. Captain, the Cardassians have destroyed the Kales Road. Their bottom shield is draining, sir.
Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. The Targaryen integrity and 75%. Regretfully, I am late for a prior engagement. Farewell, Klingon and Federation at 50 percent. Next time we meet, I shall cleanse the maelstrom of you. Sir, we're going to hit. Ah, Captain. The coward Matan flees, but he cannot Cancel escape. Cancel red alert. I will avenge the death of my comrades. Sir, the Jonka has left in pursuit of the Cardassians. Don't they know when to quit? If we don't follow them, they'll likely get themselves killed. Yes, Captain? Yes, Captain? We must ensure that Corvus and the John Ka are not destroyed. We must force the Cardassian ships to withdraw. Captain? Sir, perhaps we can scan the area for the Jankas warp trails. Yes, Captain? Initiating scan. Picking up their warp trails. They are headed toward Belarus 2. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Sir, I have numerous Cardassian contacts. They must have been waiting in ambush. The John Ka is in trouble. If we don't assist, our alliance with the Klingons could be jeopardized. Red alert, shields up. Your orders, Captain? Their left shield is draining, Captain. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Your orders, sir? Their forward shield is draining. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Captain, one of the Cardassians Their is turning away. Their has failed. They're running. Captain? Sir, their aft shield is draining. Sweeping through phaser arcs. They're Lining up rear torpedo draining. tubes. Moving into attack range. Target hull integrity at 75%. Falling back for an attack run. Moving into a turn, their right shield. Target hull integrity at fifty percent. Sweeping through phaser arcs, sir. They have hull breaches on multiple decks. Moving into attack range. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. 
Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Sweeping through phaser arcs. We have tasted our own blood. I can see my new life in Stovokor, but we will fight on. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Shield has failed, Captain. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at 50%. That's the last of the Cardassian ships. We are being hailed by the John Ka. On screen. Thank you for your assistance, Captain. The coward, Matan, is not here, but he left a welcoming party for us. You fight bravely and well, Captain. Not a compliment a Klingon often gives a human. I will speak to the Emperor myself and get you the information you need. Until we fight again. Kapla! It seems clear the Cardassians are instigating the attacks in the area. I will relay our findings to Admiral Liu. Admiral Liu is responding. On screen, Ensign. Thank you for the information, Captain. I'm pleased we finally know who is behind these attacks. I am particularly pleased with your handling of the Romulans. I believe Starfleet Command made a good choice putting you in command of the Sovereign. A commendation will be noted in your records. Return to Starbase 12 for your next assignment. Cancel red alert. Yes, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Ensign Kiska Lomar, personal log, stardate 55316.7. What an interesting turn of events this has been. Not too long ago, we were cataloging gaseous anomalies in a backwater sector of Federation space. Now it looks like we're gearing up for another fight with the Cardassians. Our assignment has been playing out like a good mystery holo novel. I was surprised to discover that the destruction of Vesuvi was not a natural event. One thing's certain. With all the action we've been seeing, I don't think we'll be getting any holodeck time for a while. Incoming message from Starbase 12. On screen. Captain, other ships in the fleet were able to tap into one of the Cardassian communication arrays, which will allow us to monitor their transmissions. Long-range scouts have detected Cardassian activity in the vicinity of the Reha system. It is up to you to investigate the area and help uncover any Cardassian bases and fleets. Starfleet Intelligence hopes you will locate the Cardassian shipyards that are producing their supply of fresh ships. Destroy any other outposts you find. If possible, follow any Cardassian ships to help discover these bases. Once you are finished, return to Starbase 12 for a new assignment. Good luck. Liu out. Your order, sir. Captain? Docking sequence initiated.
Hello, Sovereign. Your orders, sir? We have been ordered to investigate the area for Cardassian activity. We should also attempt to intercept Cardassian communications. We have been ordered to investigate the Reha system. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Captain, I have multiple contacts on sensors. Two Cardassian warships engaged with Draxon's ship, the Rancouf, and another bird of prey. I'm also picking up a convoy of Cardassian freighters making a run for it. Mr. Diaz, can you scan those freighters and see what they're carrying? They are heavily shielded. If we can boost power... I'm sorry, Captain, they've gone to warp. Sir, multiple Cardassian ships warping in. They're targeting us and up. the Klingons. Yes, sir. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Captain? Moving into attack range. Their top shield has failed. Your orders, Captain? Top shield has failed. The left shield is draining. Moving Captain. into attack range. The bottom shield is draining, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 75%. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. into attack range. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Falling back for an attack run. Cancel We're red alert. alert. Disengaging. Aye, aye. My thanks, Captain. These Cardassians were no match for us, but they distracted us from seizing the freighters. My apologies, Captain Draxon. We weren't able to get any useful readings from the freighters before they left the system. It was a glorious battle nonetheless. Perhaps we will meet again. Kapla! Mr. Diaz, can you get a fix on where those freighters went? Yes, Commander. There is a faint warp trail. It leads to the Sevelry system. Yes, sir? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Sir, I'm picking up a Cardassian outpost along with some Cardassian warships. Captain, the freighters we were following just warped out. They've masked their warp signatures. I'm unable to track them this time. I'm also detecting another group of Cardassian freighters making a run for it. If we move closer, we can get a better scan this time. No need, Commander. These freighters aren't blocking our scans. They're empty. Captain, they've gone to warp. Their course projects deeper into Cardassian-held territory, sir. 
towards the Nepenthe system. Thank you, Ensign. We can track those freighters down later. The outpost is our immediate target. Sir, the outpost has detected us and is locking weapons. Red alert, shields up. Captain? Engaging to destroy, Captain. Yes, Captain? Moving into attack range. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Their forward shield is draining. Top shield has failed. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Sir, the right shield has failed. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. Captain, we're on a collision course. Intercept course, plotted.
socket hull integrity at 75%. Main power is at 50%. Cancel red alert. Sir, the Cardassian outpost has been destroyed. Incoming transmission on a Klingon frequency, sir. It's coded, unscrambling. It's Captain Corbus. Audio only. Hail, Sovereign. I am on my way to fulfill my debt to you. I have some important information for the Federation that you must hear firsthand. Rendezvous with my ship at the coordinates I am transmitting to you. And Captain, don't keep me waiting. Coordinates received. They're in an isolated area of the quadrant, Captain. The Belarus system. Well, Captain, what should we do first? See what Corbus wants, or go investigate the Nepenthe system. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Your orders, sir. Your orders, sir. Aye, Captain. We are being hailed. On screen. Greetings, Captain. I have come to pay my debt to you. My standing orders prohibit my telling you of the ship I found. I borrowed this vessel, the Mavjap, from a friend of my house to hide this meeting from the High Council. The information I give you must be kept secret, so I can only give it to you aboard your ship. The Mavjap is operating with a skeleton crew. I will require one of your officers to replace me here while I am aboard the Sovereign. I would recommend Lieutenant Savali, Captain. He has knowledge of Klingon technology. I agree. Felix, transport to the Mav Jop, and try not to eat the gach. Yes, Commander. Corbus, our officer should arrive momentarily. Thank you, Captain. I will make certain he receives a proper welcome. Corbus out! What do you suppose he meant by a proper welcome? I don't know, but I'm glad I wasn't sent over. Felix is beamed aboard the Mav Jop, Captain. I wonder what kind of welcome he's receiving. What is going on over there? Felix should have reported by now. I do not think we have to worry. Corbus's mannerisms do not make me suspect foul play. Yes, and Klingons are generally not good at bluffing. We would have noticed something from his lousy acting. We are being hailed. On screen. Savali here, sir. I'm on board the Mav Jop. Captain Corbus is beaming over. Corbus is aboard, sir. Are you getting settled in over there, Felix? Yes, Captain. The crew here has given me a warm welcome. One has challenged me to Batleth combat, Another, a female, has begun courting me for marriage. Don't get too comfortable. Aye, Commander. Savali out. Greetings, Captain. It is as a fellow warrior that I come to you. The Klingon High Council has ordered me not to divulge this information. But you came to my aid in the Belarus system. A warrior's debt cannot be ignored. If the High Council hears of my treachery, I will be stripped of rank and my family will be driven from Kronos. I am inputting into your library computer what we have on the ship we encountered in the Belarus system. With this, we will track one of these ships down and burn it from the skies. Let us start the hunt, Captain. Battle calls! Captain, I have looked at the Klingon analysis. The warp signatures of this ship do not give us much to go on. However, after calculating the ship's last known vectors, the most likely place to find it would be in the Voltaire system. Shall I set a course, sir? Yes, Captain? 
course laid in. Yes, Captain. We should probably conduct a scan of the area and see if we can detect any residual traces. Captain, initiating scan. Sensors are detecting several warp trails leading to Voltaire 1. I'm also picking up strange energy readings coming from that area. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Captain, I'm picking up two Cardassian ships. I've isolated the source of those strange readings. It's coming from this ship, configuration unknown. Captain Corbus, is this the ship you detected? No, Commander. There are similarities, but this is not what we encountered. Then what is it? It is... different. Does it matter? It will burn as brightly against the black of space. Intriguing. While I cannot get accurate readings at this range, the vessel appears to be quite advanced in its construction and use of technology. Whose technology? I cannot yet determine that, Commander. Perhaps we should ask them. Ask them, Captain? I suggest we destroy them! They're powering weapons and moving on an approach vector! We are being hailed by the lead Cardassian ship. On screen. This is Gull Oben of the Cardassian fleet. You have invaded our territory for the last time. You will die gasping for air in the darkness of space. Captain, I'm detecting signs that the alien ship is powering up its warp engines. This is an invaluable chance for us to learn more about this strange ship. We should scan it before it escapes the warp. Captain? Initiating scan. Red alert, shields up. Sir, the vessel's hull is Captain. made of a material which interferes with our scanners. Intercept course. We will need to be Plotted. within 50 kilometers to get a good scan of it. Your orders, Captain? Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. The alien vessel seems to be a combination of Cardassian and some alien technology. I'm getting readings on its engines. An unusual configuration. The warp coils emit a higher EM frequency than the Cardassians use. Captain, the ship is escaping at warp. Very interesting. It appears the vessel possesses technology to mask its warp signature. I will need some time to take readings and analyze the data. Quickly, if you please, Commander. We're not in a very good situation yes. here. I take your point. I, Captain. These Cardassians have a taste Their of The shield battle. has failed, Captain. Your orders, sir? Sir, we are picking up new contacts. Looks like two Cardassian what? Galores have just come out of war. These are not favorable odds for us. That jump could run interference for us while we take care of the Keldons. That's not a bad idea. Ensign, hail them off job. Their we'll have them distract draining, the Galores. Sir. That may buy us enough time to take care of the Keldons. Falling back for an attack run. On screen. Target hull Lieutenant integrity Zavala at 75 What can I do for you, Captain? Lieutenant, we need you to distract the galores for us. Can you do that? I understand, Commander. Zavali out. Yes? Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Sir, we are draining their top shield.
moving into attack range. Aye. Aye, Captain. Target hull integrity at 75%. Falling back for an attack run. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Back for an attack run. Target hull integrity at twenty per cent. Aye. Of course. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Of course. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Did you want something? We have collapsed their bottom shield. Lining up forward Main torpedo tubes. Main power is at 50%. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 50%. Integrity of 20%. Moving into attack range. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Cancel red Captain. alert. Disengage. My analysis of, of the vessel's warp signature is complete. This ship seems a radical departure from standard Cardassian design. I speculate they are borrowing technology from an unknown source. I am adding my findings to your ship's database for further reference. Sir, Lieutenant Savali is signaling from the Mav Jop. On screen. That was some battle, sir. But I'm looking forward to sitting in my familiar seat at Tactical. I'm returning to the Sovereign. Commander, I'm receiving the censored records from the Mav Jop. Anything we can use? Some interesting readings here. The hull of that ship was comprised of a silicone duranium base. A very unlikely combination. Can we track it? Not by conventional methods, Commander. The wake of subspace distortion it leaves behind makes it nearly impossible to follow. Captain Lieutenant Savali has beamed back aboard. Transporter standing by to return Captain Corbis to his own ship. It has been a glorious battle, Captain. I leave you now to rejoin my fleet and regale them with our story. Captain Corbus is transported to the Mav Jop, sir. Captain, we should go to the Nepenthe system and continue our investigation. Yes, sir? I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't have any suggestions at this time. Aye, Captain. All stations, damage report. Impulse engines are fully functional. Warp engines fully functional, Captain. Phaser array is fully functional. Torpedo system is fully functional, Captain. Tractor beam is fully functional, Captain. Sensor system is fully functional. Hull integrity at 100%. Shields are at 100%. Yes, sir. Course laid in. Yes, sir.
I have accessed Federation records on this area. According to a survey conducted by the USS Hawking, the region contains an extremely dense asteroid field, riddled with raw dilithium deposits that emit fluctuating radiation pulses. Sir, I had the freighters we were following near the planet. The ambient radiation from the asteroid field seems to be masking our energy signatures. It doesn't look like they can see us. Captain, I'm picking up multiple Cardassian warships entering the outer edge of the system. We won't stay undetected for long. It's a safe bet they're coming to rendezvous with those freighters. They'll be on top of us any moment now. If we seek cover in that asteroid field, we should be able to take full advantage of its masking effect. At least long enough to figure out what the Cardassians are up to. Good idea. Ensign, plot a course to navigate the asteroid field. Aye, Commander. Your orders, Captain. Yes, sir. Your orders, sir? We're in the safety zone. The radiation is masking our power signatures. Sir, the Cardassians just warped in. They are actively scanning the area. I recommend we cut power to weapons, shields, and engines to avoid detection. Yes, we'll sir? be defenseless. We won't stay that long. If we're detected, it'll guarantee a fight, and we'll lose our chance to see what happens. Your orders, sir? working, Captain. They haven't noticed us at the lower power levels. What is that? Uh, Miguel, how about a scan? I'd love to, but there's a good chance it would give away our position. I'm picking up an encoded transmission on a Cardassian frequency. Intercepting. On screen. As you requested, Honorable Ambassador, what are the concerns you mentioned in your transmission? Kiss talk, says Naga. The Universal Translator is having difficulty with the language. One moment. That's strange. Ensign, look at the signal packet from the alien ship. You're right. Captain, they are using a Cardassian transceiver. Implying there's some sharing of technology going on. I wonder why they aren't using their own transceivers. I have resolved the translator difficulties. It should clear up momentarily. Sourced. Kikar. Marsul attack. So unacceptable. Our ships were met with an overwhelming force. The Federation is a cankerous blight, but it has more ships than we do. If the Kessok would build us more ships, we would have a far better chance defending your borders and keeping these insects out of your way. Our combined technology will completely overwhelm them. Single Cardassian Roshaga Kessak ships at full capacity. Shipyards sea stock fleet in three more cycles. Excellent. On behalf of the Cardassian Empire, I thank you. With our races working together, we shall drive the Federation from the Quadrant. May I suggest... Galsek to Legend Matan. My apologies for interrupting, sir. Our sensors are picking up a Federation ship hiding in the asteroid field. Attack immediately. Apologies, Ambassador, but we must close this channel at once. Galsek to all ships. Attack the Federation spies. Send them home as ashes. Cardassian Galore's moving on an intercept course. Red alert, shields up. Yes, sir? Captain, the Kessek ship has gone to warp. Mr. Diaz, can you track them? <laughs> sir, Matan's ship has also gone to warp. I'm sorry, Commander. I'm having trouble reading their warp signature. Captain, I may be able to provide additional information if given more time to analyze the trail. I think I can hold them yes, off sir? for a little while, Commander. Captain, the freighters Your orders, have Captain? Out. Engaging to destroy, Captain.
moving into attack range. Sir, I have gathered all the information I could from their warp trail. It appears to be very similar to the trail we just encountered while scanning the alien vessel's warp Lining signature. Up forward it torpedo. also shares striking similarities with the strange probe we encountered in the Sudi dust cloud. Their bottom shield. I have also concluded a subspace scan using the main deflector's enhanced gravimetric distortion package. Starfleet should be able to plot a search pattern back and extrapolate the unknown ship's destination using the areas of distorted subspace revealed by the scan. I am relaying the data to Starfleet now. Captain, multiple Cardassian ships are warping in. I don't think we can win this one. Looks like we've done all we can here. Captain, we should return to Starbase 12. Course, Captain? Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Sir, incoming transmission from Starbase 12. On screen, Ensign. Captain, I'm Cancel pleased red you were able to identify the aliens with whom the Cardassians are allied. We know nothing about this race, except that they are named the Kessok. Based on the information you gathered and other intelligence, we believe we have located a Cardassian shipyard in the Chambana system being used by the Kessok. This is deep in Cardassian-held territory. And we are taking a significant risk here. However, I believe it is imperative the shipyard be destroyed. You will not be alone. The Enterprise will join you in this attack. Good hunting, Captain. You out. Sir, the Enterprise has just warped in. Message coming in from the Enterprise. It's Captain Picard. Hello, Captain. I was pleased to learn that you were given the Sovereign. From all I've heard, you earned her. I see you have Commander Data on board. I hope you're enjoying your assignment on the Sovereign Data. Very much so, Captain. Her crew is disciplined and well-trained, and her captain is extremely competent. High praise indeed, Captain. I hope you aren't trying to steal my officers from me. We should get underway, Captain. Admiral Liu has cleared us to proceed directly to Chambana 1. I'll follow you in. The card out. Your orders, Captain. Docking sequence initiated. Hello, Captain. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Captain, we should get underway. The Enterprise is waiting on us. Yes, sir. Sensors are picking up a shipyard with the Cardassian Defense Force. I'm also detecting several... Several what? The same kind of ship we just saw in the Belarus system. I'd have to agree with Commander Data's previous assessment. Those ships must be hybrids of Kessok and Cardassian design. The hybrid ships are offline. They do not pose a threat. Incoming message from Captain Picard. On screen. Enterprise to Sovereign. We'll hold off the escorts as long as possible. You go after the main target. Shields up. Sir, we're too close. We should keep our distance to avoid the shipyard's disruptors.
Their top shield has failed. integrity at 50%. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at 25%. Their shield system has been disabled.
port shield draining, Captain. Main power is at 50%. Hull integrity at Disengaging. Cancel yes, red Captain. alert. The shipyard has been destroyed. Captain, I'm detecting energy spikes coming from the hybrid ships. It looks like some sort of self-destruct sequence. Sir, the hybrids have been destroyed. Can you scan the debris? Maybe we can salvage some of their technology. I'm sorry, Commander. Those explosions completely disintegrated the ships. Sir, the Enterprise is hailing us. On screen, Ensign. Congratulations, Captain. Your ship fights well. The Enterprise is assigned elsewhere, so we'll be off. It was a pleasure to work with you again. Until next time, Enterprise out. Incoming subspace message from Starfleet. On screen. Aye, Commander. Once again, you have done an invaluable service for the Federation, Captain. The damage you inflicted on the Cardassian Kessak war machine should slow them down long enough for us to bring more ships into the area. Your bravery in the face of overwhelming odds will be remembered. Return to Starbase 12. When the Sovereign is finally scheduled for r and I'll reserve all of the Starbase's holodecks for your crew. Liu out. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Chief Science Officer's personal log, star date 55321.6. Our assignment in the Maelstrom continues, and the Sovereign has definitely seen her share of the conflict. Despite destroying the Cardassian shipyard, I'm still a bit unnerved. Who are these Kessok, and how closely are they working with the Cardassians? I haven't been able to get more than a glimpse of their technology, but what I've seen so far is impressive. And Felix is convinced we haven't seen the last of them, and I, for one, wouldn't mind taking a closer look. Commander Larson feels I'll get that opportunity, but for some reason, I'm not entirely looking forward to it. Incoming subspace transmission from Starfleet, sir. The USS Geronimo is undergoing repairs after a skirmish with Cardassian forces during her last assignment. Their mission was to gather information on a Cardassian intelligence outpost, but they were discovered before they could locate their objective. Sir, the Geronimo's docked at Starbase 12. She looks like she's been under heavy fire. Captain, you will complete the Geronimo's mission. Starfleet Intelligence believes the Cardassian outpost they were sent to investigate holds vital information. There are very few leads, but Captain McRae felt he was on the verge of discovering its coordinates. Use every means at your disposal to locate the outpost and proceed to the site for reconnaissance. 
Report your findings to me at your earliest opportunity. Good luck. Liu out. Captain, examination of the Geronimo's logs may provide some insight. Your orders, sir. Docking sequence initiated. Welcome back. Captain, perhaps Commander Data can retrieve the Geronimo's logs. Your orders, Captain? His log goes into further detail. I will cue it to audio. Captain's log. At 0600, we detected a Cardassian scout ship on course for the Prindle system. Passive sensors detected Cardassian activity near the inner planets, but we lost contact with the scout. I'm holding position near Prendel 5 till things quiet down a bit. Then we'll sneak in and have a look about. I believe we're close to our objective. There's too much activity in system. The Cardassians don't go mucking a boat for nothing. That was Captain McRae's final entry. He sounded pretty confident. I agree. It's definitely worth scouting the Prendel system. Hailing frequencies open. No response. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Your orders, Captain. Your orders, Captain? Aye, aye. Initiating scan. I'm not detecting any unusual readings, Captain. My scopes are clean. Not so much as a whisper. Captain McRae's logs were quite specific about the activity in the system. Well, there's no activity now, Commander. If there's anyone there, they're hiding pretty well. Maybe they packed up and left. And they could be waiting for us to get closer before they ambush us. You said yourself there's nothing going on, Felix. That's the problem. It's too quiet. McRae seemed confident there was something going on in this system. Maybe we should move on to one of the other planets and continue our search there. I concur. If Captain McRae investigated the area, as his logs indicate, we may learn more of what transpired before the Geronimo was attacked. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. There's a heavy concentration of solar radiation in the area, sir. Besides that, I'm not detecting anything significant. Yes, sir? Your orders, sir? Captain, we should move on to one of the other planets in this system and continue our search. Yes, sir? Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Yes, sir. Initiating scan. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm not picking up any distinctive readings or signs of any activity. Your orders, Captain. 
course laid in. Yes, Captain. Captain, initiating scan. Captain, I'm detecting some anomalous readings near Prendel 3, second moon. I've added the new coordinates to the con, sir. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, Captain? Captain, I'm picking up a new contact. This could be what we're looking for. Miguel? Hard to say, Commander. There's a lot of sensor interference. I'm not detecting any other contacts. If we can get closer, we might get a clearer picture. I think we've found the outpost. Captain, our orders from the Admiral are to investigate the outpost further and gather as much information as possible. Yellow alert, shields up. Your orders, Captain. Intercept course, plotted. Captain, I think we're clear of the interference. Shall I scan the target? Yes, Captain. Your orders, sir. Initiating scan. Minimal power readings. Main life support appears to be running on backup power. Most other major systems are offline. Sensors aren't picking up any life forms. Captain, sensors are picking up several distinct energy patterns coming from the outpost. It almost looks like a power surge of some kind. Captain, the station is powering its weapons. I think we've triggered some kind of defense system. We have to neutralize the station's defenses before we can send anyone over to check it out. Captain, I suggest we exercise caution when engaging the station. If the outpost is destroyed, any information it holds will be lost. Red alert! Intercept course, plotted. Aye, aye. We've disabled one of the disruptor arrays, sir.
disabled one of the station's phaser banks, Captain. Second phaser bank disabled. Station's phaser banks have been disabled, sir. The disruptor arrays have been disabled, Captain. All the disruptor arrays have been disabled. Auxiliary power is at 50%. Target hull integrity at 75%. Power is at 50%. All 
phaser banks have been disabled. The station's defenses have been neutralized. The outpost is powering down. Cancel Captain. red alert. My orders from Admiral Liu are to investigate the outpost when found. Any information we uncover is vital. Security is standing by to assist you, sir. Select as many as you need for an away team. Thank you, Commander. Two should be sufficient. Standing by to transport the away team. Captain, the away team is transported to the outpost. Incoming message from Commander Data. On screen. Commander Data reporting, Captain. The outpost is powered down, but I was able to tap into the information systems. They have been stripped of routine procedural codes, but that's all. It appears the Cardassians evacuated the station in a hurry. We are heading toward the engineering deck to attempt to bring main power back online. Captain, I will attempt to access the primary computer core. Apparently, the Cardassians anticipated our arrival. The core is heavily encrypted. It could take some time to gain access. Captain, I'm picking up three Galore-class vessels on an intercept course. They're attacking the outpost, Captain. Red alert, shields up. Your orders, Captain? Data to Sovereign. I am detecting nearby Engaging explosions. to destroy, Captain. Please report. Our Cardassian friends are back, Commander. I need several more minutes to break the encryption code. Captain, we can't let the Cardassians destroy the outpost. Maybe we can Their draw them off. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Lining up Their the top rear shield torpedo has shield. failed. Captain? Falling back for an attack run. Your order, sir. Target hull integrity at 75%. Falling back for an attack run. Target hull integrity Sweeping at through 50%. Phaser arcs. Moving into attack range. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Moving into attack range. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Falling back for an attack run. The RAF shield has failed, Captain. Shield is draining. Main power is at 50%. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Target 
alcohol integrity at 75%. Top shield has failed. Target hull integrity at 20%. Incoming message from Commander Data. On screen. Cancel red alert. I have broken the encryption sequence. Evidently, the Cardassians attempted to wipe their computer core's memory before they evacuated. That would explain the encryption. They were not entirely successful. It appears the Cardassians are focusing their efforts on the search for a device of some kind. Records indicate quite thorough research on the history of the Vesuvi star system, as well as the solar event that recently took place there. Do you think there's a connection between this device and the Vesuvi event? From what the Cardassian logs indicate, that would seem to be a reasonable conclusion. I am ready to transmit the remaining core memory to the Sovereign for further analysis. Your orders, Energizing. Captain. Intercept course plotted. The away team has been transported back to the Sovereign, Captain. I believe our mission has been successful, Captain. I will be taking some time to analyze the computer core information. As humans say, it looks like a gold mine. Captain, I suggest we destroy the outpost. It might compromise the Federation's interests if anyone were to stumble across it. Red alert, shields up. Power is at fifty per cent. Outpost destroyed. I've informed Admiral Liu of our progress. Cancel red alert. She's responding. Commander Data, what information were you able to gather from the Corps? Admiral, there are indications the Cardassians are conducting a focused search for some type of device. The information in the Corps indicates that the Cardassians suspect the Alioth system as its possible location. Thank you, Commander. Captain, this discovery corroborates intelligence Starfleet discovered only recently. I cannot go into details over an unsecured channel. Return to Starbase 12 immediately, and I'll brief you then. Liu out. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Aye, aye.
Incoming subspace transmission from Starfleet, sir. We must move quickly. It is apparent the Cardassians have a significant lead in the search for the mysterious device mentioned in the computer logs you retrieved. Proceed at best speed to the Alioth system. All evidence points to this system as the location of the device they're searching for. Slip in quietly, locate and gather information on the device, then get out. You won't have any backup, and you will most definitely be outnumbered. Godspeed, Captain. You out. What exactly are we looking for? The outpost's logs indicated the device was silicon-based, with a potential density of over 20,000 kilograms per meters cubed. That's pretty dense. It is. That's about eight times the minimum density of granite. I have modified our sensors accordingly. Your orders, Captain. Docking sequence initiated. Bringing her in again, eh? Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Long-range sensors are detecting a heavy concentration of Cardassian activity in the system, sir. We'll have a hard time staying undetected, Captain. Maybe they haven't found the device yet. Let's hope. Chief, what can we do to lower our visibility? If we boost power to engines, we'd be detectable by the increased impulse engine emissions. As long as we don't boost power to the engines, I think I can keep our signature reduced. We can lower the main shields and keep our weapon systems powered down. They'd detect us in an instant if we powered either one of those back up. I would also advise against using any boosted scans to search for the device, Captain. That would most certainly reveal our position. We'd have to maneuver into low orbit and use each planet to cover our sensor signatures. Flying half-blind with an arm and a leg tied behind our back? Wonderful. Well, Captain, where should we start? Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Aye, aye. Captain, I'm detecting a Cardassian patrol. Running at the reduced power settings, I'd advise keeping a distance of greater than 100 kilometers, or we risk being detected. I've plotted several nav points around the planet that should keep us out of their detection range. We can fall back to these positions if we start to get a little too close.
Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Captain, we're getting dangerously close to one of the Cardassian patrols. We should hold back or we'll be detected. Standing by for course change, Captain. Standard orbit. Captain, Aye, sir. we're getting dangerously close to one of the Cardassian patrols. Standard orbit. We should hold back Aye, or we'll be detected. Standing by for course change, Captain. Captain, we're getting dangerously close to one of the Cardassian patrols. We should hold back or we'll be detected. Standing by for course change, Captain. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Entering standard orbit. Initiating scan. This planet is composed primarily of methane gas and ice. There are no discernible land masses or any signs of metal compounds. Course laid in. Aye aye, leaving orbit. Captain, the Cardassians have set up a few satellites to orbit the planet. They appear to be continuously scanning its surface. Although their focus is on the planet's surface, I'd advise keeping a distance of greater than 50 kilometers, or we risk being detected. We might be able to establish orbit, a safe distance in between the other satellites. From what we have observed, it appears the Cardassians are focusing their search on the planets of this system. Perhaps we should do the same. Yes, sir. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Captain, we're getting dangerously close to one of the satellites. Much closer and we risk being detected. Standing by for course change, Captain. Yes, Captain? 
Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Captain, we're getting dangerously close to one of the satellites. Much closer and we risk being detected. Standing by for course change, Captain. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Captain, we're getting dangerously close to one of the satellites. Much closer and we risk being detected. Standing by for course change, Captain. Entering standard orbit. Captain? Initiating scan. This planet is comprised of carbon rock with a nickel iron core. The atmosphere is highly volatile, with methane, sulfides, and carbon monoxide. It suffers constant ionic storms and shows signs of recent meteor impacts. Wait, Captain, I'm picking up a faint energy source. I agree. I cannot get a completely accurate reading, but the energy source originates from a silicate mass that appears to have impacted the surface recently. An away team could check the readings. Difficult, Commander. The ionic storms on the surface are interfering with our transporter signals. If we attempt to beam through it, whoever is in the matter stream may not be able to be reconstituted. Then we'll send a shuttlecraft. Commander, the intense radiation combined with the severity of the ionic storms makes me the only logical choice for this mission. The radiation levels will not affect me, and my positronic brain is shielded from such volatile energy sources. Once I have located the device, I can relay my findings to you. We have little choice, Commander. You can launch from Shuttle Bay 1. I'd recommend bringing along a few pattern enhancers, just in case. Narrowband communications should keep us in touch with you, sir, but we may not get a very strong signal through. Understood. Transmission from the shuttle, sir. On screen. Data to Sovereign. I am approaching the planet's surface. The storm activity is buffeting the shuttle, but I should be able to land without incident. Data out. Commander Data signaling again, Captain. It's a little garbled. I'll try to clean it up. On screen. Sovereign, I am on the surface about to start my reconnaissance. I will report on my findings periodically. Commander Data, sir. Voice only. The ionic storms are affecting the transmissions from the handheld unit. Data to Sovereign. I believe I have located the energy source. It is emanating from a silicate-based probe of some kind that seems... Captain, I'm reading multiple Cardassian warships closing on our position. Incoming Captain, message from the hostile Cardassian ship, patrol sir. has just on entered screen. the area. So, the Federation seeks to steal my prize. I think not. But my thanks for leading me to it. Unfortunately, your services are no longer required. Get Data out of there, Chief. Emergency transport. No good, Commander. Too much interference from the storms. I can't get a lock. Sovereign to Data. We've been detected by a large Cardassian strike force. Can you make it back to the ship? Doubtful, Commander. You must get this information back to Starfleet. I will be safe here on the surface. The intense radiation should prevent any Cardassian forces from attempting to beam down. I believe this device may Red have been the of the Vesuvi event. Therefore, it would be best if the Cardassians did not know I was here. Captain, the Cardassians are closing on our position. What do you wish to do, Commander Data? If you destroy the satellites orbiting the planet, I can gather detailed information on the device without being detected. I can also position the shuttle to avoid further detection. Understood. I will await further contact. Data out. Intercept course. We can't leave Plotted. Commander Data behind. We can't save him if we're dead, Mr. Diaz. 
Besides, the commander is in a safer place than we are at the moment. We'll come back. Data can take care of himself for a short while. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Sir, another ship is on a collision course with us. Sir, they are draining our dorsal shield. Shields are at 75%. Target hull integrity at Shields 20%. Shields are at 75%. Intercept course, plotted. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target hull integrity at 25%. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Intercept course plotted. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple it's decks. It's time to leave, sir. We've done all we can here. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. I've informed Admiral Liu of our progress. She's responding. Excellent work in locating the device, Captain. It's unfortunate you were not able to secure the area and retrieve Commander Data. From what I know of him, the Commander is extremely resourceful and will find a way to survive. Rest assured, we will find a way to bring him home. In the meantime, see to your ship and crew until further orders. Liu out. Felix Savali, personal log, stardate 55403.5. I feel responsible for leaving Commander Data behind at Alioth. No one has blamed me, but I still think I could have held off our attackers long enough to retrieve him. Miguel has told me over and over to forget it, but it couldn't be helped. 
that I can't get it out of my mind. I have been in countless battles, and never before have I left a comrade behind. Still, the Cardassians are up to their old tricks, and I'm sure there'll be more confrontations between us. We still might have a chance to get back to the Alioth system and pull Data out of there, if he survives. Incoming message from Starfleet. The Cardassian faction, led by this rogue, Matan, has formally declared war on the Federation. The offensive you witnessed was not an isolated incident. The Cardassians are on the verge of breaking through into other Federation-held territories. Every combat-capable ship has been ordered to fight a delaying action against the Cardassian forces while we attempt to evacuate local installations. Rendezvous with the USS San Francisco in the Artrus system and delay the Cardassians as long as possible. I'll be honest with you, Captain. We do not expect this line to hold. We can only hope we will be able to stall the Cardassian offensive. Good luck. Cancel red alert. Yes, sir. Docking sequence initiated. Good to see you again, Sovereign. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Aye, Captain. We have arrived at the up. outskirts of the Artris system, sir. Detecting two galores engaged with the Galaxy class. It's the San Francisco, sir. She's hailing us. Your Sovereign. orders, Captain? The You're all welcome, shield is draining, sir. So far, we've been able to hold them off, but I sense that they are going to make a big push soon. The galores are trying to double-team the San Francisco. The galore shields are damaged. San Francisco is firing. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. We are draining their top shield. Target hull integrity at 20%. We are draining their top shield. Their bottom shield is draining, sir.
Sure. Two more Galores and a Keldon have entered the system. This could be Captain Zeiss's big push. I'd have to agree with you, Chief. We could take on one of the Galores and the Keldon, sir. The San Francisco could take care of the other Galore. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Sir, they are draining, draining our Captain. dorsal shield. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at 75%. Power is at 50%. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Bottom shield is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at 50%. Cardassians destroyed, sir. Cancel Incoming red Incoming message from Captain Zeiss, sir. Zeiss to Sovereign. Excellent teamwork, Captain. Thank you. We took some hits, Sovereign. But damage control is already on repairs. We are operational and ready to continue. I'm not picking up any more vessels on the long-range scan, sir. Maybe that was the last of them. Or they're attacking somewhere else. Incoming message, sir. Priority channel. Captain, two of our ships, the Venture and the Devor, have come under heavy attack in the Ona system and are in need of aid. This system is crucial to the defense of the Savoy training grounds and the Savoy One tactical station. You and the San Francisco must do whatever is necessary to hold that system. You out. Sir, orders are orders. But are they serious? How much more of this do they expect us to take? If Starfleet needs us to buy them time, that's what we have to do. Yes, sir. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Red alert, shields up. I'm picking up. up a Federation galaxy and a Kira class under attack by three Galores and a Keldon, sir. Confirmed. Starfleet vessels identified as the Venture and the Devor. Incoming message, sir. It's Captain Martin of the Devor. On screen. Glad to see you, Sovereign. They've been coming at us pretty heavily in this system. 
Now that you're here, the odds are improving. Sir, they are draining you and the San our Francisco dorsal shield. targets. We can handle the rest. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Their aft shield has failed, Captain. Sir, their aft shield is draining. More Cardassians, sir. I'm picking up two more Galores and a Kelda. Captain, Just goes our attacks from are draining their right stuff. shield. There's enough to go around. Choose your targets, sir. Their top shield has failed. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Incoming their message, top shield sir. Has failed. They have Stop acknowledged it. the this command. Is We've Sending suffered orders. extensive damage. They have acknowledged the command. Target hull Sending integrity orders. at 50%. Orders acknowledged, sir. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Power is at 50%. Sir, we are draining their top shield. We are being hailed. Intelligence reports that the Cardassians have more ships moving Target towards integrity the Ona system. At 75%. It is clear we cannot hold the Ona system. In Target light of this, integrity at 50%. I'm ordering a full evacuation of all personnel from the Savoy 1 station. You Cancel and any surviving alert. ships Sir, we're will going to hold hit. off the Cardassians at Savoy 3, while the Devor continues to Savoy 1 to provide cover for the evacuation transports.
I know we are asking a lot of you and your crew, Captain, but you must hold on. It is imperative that we save as many lives as possible. Captain? Captain? Sir, our presence is needed at Savoy 3 to intercept incoming Cardassians. Our job is to intercept incoming Cardassian ships at Savoy 3 and prevent Four enemy them from vessels have entered the Savoy area, one. Captain. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. This is the Devore. We're proceeding to Savoy 1 to oversee the evacuation as ordered. We'll hold here while the transports evacuate the station. A small strike force Red has alert, just entered the up. system. One Keldon and one Galore. They are on an intercept course. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. Top shield has failed. Another group of enemy ships, sir. Two galores and a Kelvin. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. We have collapsed have the bottom the shield. Command. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. Cancel red alert. Sir, the Cardassians have warped out of the system. Their projected course will take them to Savoy 1. They must intend to attack the station. Your orders, Captain. Incoming message, sir. Sovereign. Cardassians are approaching Savoy 1 in strength. We are in no position to defend against a force this size. We require immediate assistance. Martin out. Course laid in, Captain. Standing by to warp to Savoy 1. We have to keep the Cardassians at bay until the transports clear the station. Captain? Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Good to see you, Sovereign. You need to buy the transports a little more time alert, to get everyone off the up. station. The Cardassians are concentrating fire on the Cambridge. Captain, Cambridge is calling for aid. Urgent, sir. Target 
alcohol integrity at 50%. Sir, Transport Shannon is away. Just two more to go. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Sir, another ship is on a collision course with us. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target hull integrity at 20%. We're in danger of colliding with another ship, Captain. The raft shield has failed, Captain. is severely damaged, sir. Captain, Transport Inverness reports they have finished Captain, loading personnel more and Cardassians are preparing to have warp the out. System. I've got them, sir. They're heading for the transports. Inverness is safely away, Captain. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. We're in danger of colliding with another ship, Captain. The raft shield has failed, Captain. Their forward shield is draining. Their top shield has failed. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple Incoming decks. Incoming message from the Devore, sir. The last transport is clear of the station. Sovereign, we should head back to Starbase 12 before more Cardassians show up. Cancel red alert. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Incoming message from Starfleet. On screen. The Cardassians have been hitting us hard. Many of our vessels have been destroyed, and even more damaged beyond repair. Crews are still trapped aboard their crippled vessels or in escape pods. We must bring these people back. Starfleet Command believes the Cardassians will take some time before their next major push. While they are organizing, we will move in and rescue as many of our people as we can. You will escort the medical vessel Nightingale on its recovery mission. After you reload and repair, you will rendezvous with the Nightingale in the Gebel system. The Nightingale has limited defensive capabilities, so they will be relying on you to see them through safely. New out. Course plotted for the Gebel system, sir. Captain, docking sequence initiated.
Hello, Sovereign. Captain? Yes, sir. Incoming message, sir. On screen. Hello, Sovereign. I am Captain Jadeha. We appreciate your escort on this mission. Starbase 12 has detected faint signals from distress beacons coming from Gebel 3. We plan to start there. Captain? Course laid in. Yes, sir. Picking up debris from two, maybe three ships, sir. Do we know who they were? I can't tell from the debris, Commander. Transmission from Captain Jadeha, sir. On screen. This is worse than I thought. Any emergency beacons? Several beacons are still active in the area, Commander. I'm reading six. If we work together, we should be able to pick up the escape pods in a reasonable amount of time. You have our cooperation, Captain Jadeha. Very satisfactory, Commander. Jadeha out. Plotting the locations of the escape pods, sir. I have the coordinates. We have to help recover all the escape pods, sir. Felix can use the tractor beam to bring them aboard. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, a Cardassian galore has just entered the system. We can't allow them to engage the Nightingale. Red alert, shields up. Yes, Captain. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Your orders, Captain? <laughs> Moving into attack range. Firing phasers. They're firing on the Nightingale. Yes, sir. We are being hailed. On screen. Sovereign, we need some cover. The Nightingale has docked an escape pod, sir. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. <laughs> sir, their aft shield is draining. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Target hull integrity at moving 75%. into attack range. Nightingale reports she has retrieved two pods. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Disengaging. Yes, sir. Cancel red alert. Yes, Captain? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Captain, 
two Galores have entered the system. They're maneuvering into Attempting firing position. Attempting to dock a skate pod, sir. Red alert, shields up. Nightingale has docked an escape pod, sir. Escape pod docked, sir. Intercept course. Plotted. The second Galore is harassing the Nightingale. Targeting Twins. second Galore. She can't Firing. defend herself. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Nightingale has docked an escape pod, sir. integrity at 50%. Sir, target's we're going hull to has hit. been breached, Captain. is severely damaged, sir. The second galore is destroyed. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Main power the shield is draining, sir. Pod, sir. That's the last of the escape pods, sir. Sensors are clear. Message from Captain Jadeha, sir. There were several dead in the pods we retrieved, but most of the survivors are in good shape. We can take the wounded you picked up for further treatment on board the Nightingale. We make an excellent team, so Target hull integrity Sir, I'm at picking 75%. up a faint distress beacon coming from Ceres-1. I think it's the Dauntless. We are reading it as well, so I suggest we head to Ceres and see if we can locate Target any Target hull integrity at 50%. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Cancel red alert. Sir, should we follow the Nightingale to Ceres 1? Yes, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Arriving in Ceres 3, sir. There are the remains of a Federation freighter in the system, sir. 
No life signs. Starfleet logs indicate the Dauntless was escorting the freighter Adams to Starbase 12. It looks like they didn't make it. I've got a fix on the Dauntless' signal, sir. They're at Ceres 1. The Nightingale is already on her way there. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Sir, we are receiving a hail from the Dauntless. They're still alive. Nightingale, Sovereign. This is Captain Yi. I can't tell you how good you are. What is your situation, Captain Yi? We have extensive casualties. We have suffered severe damage to propulsion, weapons, and life support. And we're operating on emergency power. We'll have to evacuate soon. There is no telling how long she'll stay together. We might be able to tow her back to Starbase 12, sir. I just ran a sensor sweep over the Dauntless, sir. Their hull is so damaged, there's no way she could handle the stress of warp speed. We will evacuate your crew, Captain. How are your transporter systems? Unreliable. I will have a team transport over with pattern enhancers, and we will begin moving your crew to the Nightingale. Sovereign, if you could patrol the area while we transfer the survivors, it would be a great help. We have company, sir. Two Cardassians are entering the system. Red alert, they shields are assuming up. a hostile formation. And there I was, expecting a yes, cake and party hats. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Your orders, Captain? <laughs> Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Falling back for an attack run. Yes, sir. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sir, we are draining their top shield. The raft shield has failed, Captain. Sweeping through phaser arcs. <laughs> Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Target hull integrity at 75%. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Target hull integrity at 50%. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Yes, sir. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. One galore gone. Hi, Captain.
fire, we are draining their top shield. is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Main power is at 50%. Cancel red alert. Disengaging. Aye, Captain. Message from the Nightingale, Captain. On screen. Captain, we have finished transferring the Dauntless's crew. That seems to be all we can do here. Sir, the Dauntless's hull is collapsing. On screen. She's gone, sir. Well, there goes two years of my blue blood, sweat, and tears. The Dauntless was the first starship I piloted. I'll miss her. Message from the Nightingale, sir. They're heading back to Starbase 12. I suggest we do the same. Course laid in. Yes, Captain? Aye, Captain. Sovereign, Nightingale, welcome back. Captain Jadeha. My medical staff has been alerted to your needs and is prepared to receive the Dauntless's wounded. We will begin transporting the survivors immediately. The wounded are being transported now, Captain. Incoming message from Starfleet, sir. As you know, the Cardassians now control the Savoy Station. We believe they will use the station to set up a forward base of operations within Federation territory. This compromises the entire security of our position in the Maelstrom. Therefore, we have made it a priority to retake Savoy Station. You will lead an assembled strike force to retake the station. Commander Willis aboard the Kittimer will have operational control for this mission. Follow his orders to the letter. You may dock at Starbase 12 and conduct any repairs and rearming necessary. Hail the Kittimer to inform Commander Willis when you are ready to proceed. You out. Captain? Docking sequence initiated. Hello, Sovereign. Your orders, sir. Hailing the Kittimer, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you, Captain. 
the Sovereign is becoming well known in this sector, though it's only been in service for a short time. I'm sure that's due in no small part to your fine crew, as well as your leadership. For this operation to succeed, the Kittimer will have to move in quickly and deliver a boarding party to the station. This means your primary assignment will be to keep enemy ships from interfering with the Kittimer's task. Keep her flight path clear, Captain. When the station has been secured, be alert to any Cardassian attempts to destroy it. When they realize they're going to lose it, I expect them to employ a scorched earth policy. If the station is destroyed, it will hinder our continued operations in the area and make it impossible to mount a concerted defense against the Cardassians. When you're ready, we will proceed to the Savoy system. If necessary, you'll receive further orders from me once there. Willis out. Yes, sir. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Incoming message, sir. These Cardassian ships present Red a alert, minor problem. Shields up. We'll have to take them out before proceeding. Their top shield has failed. We are Sir, draining the another top ship shield. is on a collision course with us. Cancel red alert. They're taking their losses and running. I believe they're on a course for the Savoy station, sir. Incoming message from Commander Willis. Good work, Sovereign. We'll continue on to Savoy 1. The Kittimer will orbit the station, and I will begin landing our assault troops. Neutralize any enemy presence within the system and keep the Cardassians away from the Kittimer and the station itself. Yes, sir. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Turning to engage the Kittimer. Red alert, shields up. Yes, Captain. We'll have to do something about that. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Yes, Captain. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Captain. Moving into attack range. Your orders, Captain? Their bottom shield is draining, sir. We are being hailed. On screen. Captain. The Cardassians have knocked out our shield. The top shield we must fail. off us. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Their top shield has failed. Yes, sir. Their bottom shield is Sending draining, order. sir. Moving into attack. They have acknowledged the command. Yes, sir. Sir, the right shield has failed. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Yes, sir. Sovereign. Sending orders. Our port orders. has been hit. Orders acknowledged, Preventing sir. Preventing plasma. 
If it ignites, Your we will be destroyed. Happened? I'm not sure we can stay in this battle much longer. Their top shield has failed. Target hull integrity at 75%. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Their forward shield is draining. Bottom shield is draining, sir. The raft shield has failed, Captain. Target hull integrity at twenty five per cent. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target's hull has been breached. Main power is at 50%. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. That was the last of the Cardassians guarding the station, sir. Cancel red alert. Captain? Intercept course plotted. Incoming message from Commander Willis. I'm bringing the Kittimer in range of the station, Captain. Once we're in position, we'll start landing our assault troops. Message from Commander Willis, sir. Kittimer has begun launching the shuttles. Your orders, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Another group of ships has just dropped out of warp near the edge of the system. I'm reading two Keldons and a Galore and two smaller ships. Sir, I've identified two of the incoming vessels as Cardassian transports. Scanning the transports now. Transports? Red alert, Why shields up. Here? Sensors indicate the transports are carrying Cardassian troops. It's a boarding party. They intend to hold that station. Captain, we Captain? have collapsed their incoming bottom shield. Incoming message from Commander Willis. Captain, we don't have the numbers to hold the station if they beam reinforcements aboard. If Moving those into transports attack aren't destroyed before reaching the station, Your our order, mission sir? will fail. Your orders, Captain? Your orders, Captain? Captain, their forward shield has failed. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Target hull integrity at 
Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Our ventral shields are draining, sir. Draining our dorsal shield. That's Main power is at 50%. Looks like we're in good shape. Maybe not, Commander. Captain, the remaining Cardassians are turning on the station. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. Top shield has failed. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at fifty per cent. Target hull integrity at 25%. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Sir, we are draining their top shield. If we don't adjust our course, we'll collide with that station. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. They have acknowledged the command. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Their aft shield has failed, Captain. Captain, the station's hull stress is reaching critical. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Cancel red alert. Good news, Captain. All Cardassian resistance on the Savoy station has been neutralized. Nice work on those Cardassian ships. The Kittimer will stand guard here until reinforcements arrive. Sovereign, you are ordered to Starbase 12. I look forward to working with you next time. Willis out. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. We 
We are being hailed. To gain the upper hand in this conflict, Starfleet believes we must make a show of strength. In the past, the Cardassians have taken our diplomacy as a sign of weakness. We need to display the true nature of our resolve. The Federation is a peaceful entity, but as we have learned from past threats, there are times we need to bare our teeth. For the Cardassians to organize such a large-scale operation, they must have some sort of command and control facility located near the front lines. If we can find this Ford base and destroy it, we will disrupt the Cardassians enough to allow us to start an offensive campaign. You will search out this command and control base. When you locate it, you will rendezvous with the strike force now being assembled. The strike force will attack and destroy the command base. This is a bold plan, Captain. And, to be honest, I'm not certain if this is the correct course of action. There are too many unknowns, and I don't like holes that obscure the full picture. I would advise extreme caution in the vicinity of the command base when located. It's sure to be heavily defended. Liu out. I have the list of systems we're to investigate, Captain. Yes, Captain? Docking sequence initiated. Good to see you again, Sovereign. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Yes, Captain? Sir, should I conduct a scan of the area? Initiating scan. There is some indication of Cardassian activity in this system. There are the remains of a Federation transport in this system, sir. No indication of a base, though. This is not the system we are looking for. Your order, sir. Scanning the Hulk, Captain. There's nothing unusual to report, Captain. The transport was carrying quantum torpedoes to Starbase 12 when it was attacked. Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. We have reached Captain. the Reha system, sir. Ready to initiate scan, Captain. Sensors are engaged. Sensor readings? Scanning long range. I'm picking up two objects. Refining scan. One galore. Dead in space. And one Kessak near her. On screen. No facilities of any kind on sensors. This doesn't seem to be the system we're looking for. But what is that Kessak up to? Shall we move to engage, Captain? Captain? Initiating tactical maneuver. Red yes, alert, Captain. shields up. Yes, Captain? Intercept course, plotted. Yes, Captain? Target is firing on us. I've been wanting to test the combat efficiency of the Kessok ships.
Initiating scan. Scan of the Kessok ship is complete, sir. Anything interesting, Miguel? I'm not reading any life signs aboard. It could be automated. shield is draining, sir. She's turning. She's turning away. The target has warped out of the system. Any trace on its heading? Their warp signature is difficult to track, but they seem to be heading to the Tesla system. Cancel red alert. Captain? Scanning the galore. They seem to have suffered a warp core breach. No signs of survivors. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Initiating scan. Sir, there are a number of Cardassian warships centered around the second planet. This might be what we're looking for. Or it could be a decoy designed to draw in any Federation scouts. Shall we engage, sir? Your orders, sir? Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Your orders, sir? Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. We have company, sir. Cardassian ships heading our way. Their weapons are charged and shields are up, sir. Red alert, shields up. we have collapsed their bottom shield.
Cancel red alert. Sir, the remaining Cardassian has warped away. I'm not picking up any other contacts. Sir, should I conduct a scan of the area? Yes, Captain. Initiating scan. Sir, sensors detect nothing out of the ordinary on the surface. The planet appears to be uninhabited. Should we move on to another system, sir? Captain? Captain? Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Arriving in the Tezel system, sir. The Kessok we encountered in the Rehub is draining, system, sir. Here, sir. Not for long. The Kessok ship is powering up its warp engines. It's gone, sir. Sorry, no trace on its heading this time. Yes, Captain? Scanning ahead. Captain, long-range scans indicate two contacts near the first planet in this system. I believe they are Cardassian. I'm reading a Galore and a Keldon, sir. Sir, it's hard to get a clear reading of what's on that planet. The Cardassians are actively jamming our sensors. We'll have to get closer if we want to see what's going on. Captain? Course laid in. Yes, sir? Yes, Captain. Still no luck with the sensor, sir. They really don't want us nosing around here. I can prepare a Class 8 probe that should be able to break through their jamming, but we would have to deploy it close to the planet. We'll have to wait for the probe to gather its data and relay the findings back to us. That might be a problem, sir. The Cardassians are closing on our position. That has to be the right planet, sir. If this isn't their base, why are they jamming our sensor scans? Starfleet cannot operate on hunches. I recommend we launch the probe, sir. We can try to hold our ground while we wait for the data. Sir, with all due respect, if this is the command and control base, the Cardassians are sure to reinforce it now that we've been spotted in the system. Sir, the probe is ready. Should I launch it now? I'll try to boost the probe's antimatter injection rate for more power. That might cut down on the time we'll be taking fire from the Cardassians. I've been able to increase the probe's engine efficiency by 25%, sir. Best I can do. Yes, Captain? Yes, Captain? Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Red alert, shields up. Yes, Captain? Yes, sir. Probe launched. Sir, we're going to hit. I'm getting the reports back from the probe, Captain. It's closer to the surface now. Sir, we are draining their top shield. One hostile entering the system, sir. I'm picking up a small structure. Probe sensors show 30 to 40 Cardassians inside. There are subspace communications transceivers near the structure as well. The Cardassians know we're on to them. The longer we wait, the harder it will be for our strike force to counter the Cardassians. We have what we came for, Captain. We should get back and report this to Starfleet at once. Their forward shield is draining. Several enemy ships yes, have Captain. entered the system. 
We should return to Starbase 12, Captain. Cancel red alert. Incoming transmission. Excellent job locating the Cardassian Command Facility, Captain. We must move quickly to take advantage of this information. Well done. Commander Willis will be your mission coordinator. He is an expert on Cardassian tactics and will be leading the ground portion of this operation. You will coordinate with him after meeting with his ship, the USS Kittimer. Liu out. Yes, Captain. Incoming message from Commander Willis. Hello, Captain. It'll be a pleasure to work with you again. Intelligence reports the Cardassians are still putting out brush fires from our counter-strikes. This should work in our favor. With luck, the target won't be too tough to crack. But they do know we're coming, so we can expect them to reinforce their position. Once we've arrived in the target area, Sovereign will engage the perimeter defenses and the Prendel system. While these forces are busy, the rest of the strike team will proceed to the Cardassian command post. Captain, you must prevent any Cardassian ships from detaining the Kittimer. Once the assault has begun, every second will count, and my ship can't afford to become engaged. Captain, docking sequence initiated. Hello, Captain. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Two Cardassian Galores have just entered the system, sir. They are turning to engage. Red alert, shields up. Your orders, Captain? Captain? Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Your orders, Captain? Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Target hull integrity at 50%. Falling back for an attack run. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Their top shield has failed. Falling back for an attack run. Target hull integrity at 50%.
Sweeping through phaser arms. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Cancel red alert. Sir, incoming transmission from the Kittimer. This is the Kittimer. We are facing heavy resistance in Tezel 2. We require your immediate assistance. Set course for Tezel 2, sir. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Red alert, shields up. Glad you can make it, Sovereign. Captain? These Cardassians are making it difficult to carry out our mission. Engaging Once to destroy, Captain. Once we dispatch Captain. these ships, we can continue to Tezel 1. Captain Yi, yes, sir? I did not expect to see you back in action so soon. Sir, they're aft shield is the way they are. Starfleet did not hesitate in assigning me and my crew a new ship. She's inheriting a good name. It's been some time since we worked together. I look forward to it. Sir, another ship is on a collision course with us. The RAF shield has failed, Captain. Target hull integrity at 25%. Their top shield has failed. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Cancel red alert. That's the last of them, sir. Sensors show no signs of Cardassian ships around Tezel 1. Let's hope they're busy elsewhere. Incoming message from Commander Willis, sir. We are to proceed to Tezel 1. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Kittimer will orbit Tezel 1 and begin landing the ground forces. You are to supply cover until the operation is complete. With any luck, we'll be done before the Cardassians know what hit them. Yes, Captain? Captain, the Kittimer reports all shuttles yes, away. Captain, two more Cardassian ships have just entered the system. 
We have to keep them away from the Kittimer. Red alert, shields up. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. They have acknowledged the command. The last shuttle has reached the planet, sir. The RAF shield has failed, Captain. Captain, scanners detect an unknown vessel entering the battle. Sir, we are Sir, draining their top Kessok shield. Ship. The Cardassians aren't going to just lie down and let us have this base. We are being hailed. On screen. Captain, we'll take the Cardassians. The Sovereign is better suited to engage the Kessok aggressor. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target Loading hull integrity at 25%. Sir. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. We are draining their top shield. We have a serious tactical problem here, Captain. I'm showing a large number of vessels their entering the area. Is draining. They Main appear power to be is Kessop, at 50%. Sir. More Kessop ships? They are on an intercept course. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Sending the orders. Shield is draining, orders acknowledged, sir. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Incoming transmission. Audio only. Incoming transmission. Their bottom Audio. shield draining, Watch sir. Watch your targets, Captain. We have enough trouble. Sir, we're going to hit. The Zukov has been destroyed. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Sir, we are being hailed. Sovereign, their defenses are too strong. We must withdraw. We must give Commander Willis time to pull our forces off the surface. We cannot allow them to fall into enemy hands. We have collapsed their bottom shield.
Transmitting your new orders, Captain. They have acknowledged the command. The raft shield has failed, Captain. Main power is fluctuating, Captain. We'll have to reduce power to some systems. Main power is offline. Danger of colliding with another ship, Captain. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Aye, Captain. Intercept course plotted. The Sovereign is a beautiful ship, Captain. Bottom shield is draining, sir. Auxiliary power is at 50%. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Attacks are draining their right shield. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. More enemy vessels have entered the area, Captain. Hi, Captain. The Sovereign is a beautiful ship, Captain. sir. They are draining our dorsal shield. Sir, sensors indicate the shuttles have exited the planet's atmosphere. Incoming message from Commander Willis. Sovereign, we've made it off the planet, but our shuttles took a lot of damage. We estimate power reserves will be exhausted shortly after we engage our warp engines. However, we think we can make it to the VO system. You will have to rendezvous with us there. Willis out. Their forward shield is draining. Our ventral shields are draining, draining their right shield. Sir, the shuttles have warped out of the system. Sending orders. We should head to Beol immediately, sir. Orders acknowledged, sir. Sir, we're about to collide with a large mass of debris. Course laid in. Yes, sir.
Personal Log, First Officer Safi Larson. Star date 55408.2. I've been pleased with the way the crew has come together under combat conditions. They've pulled the Sovereign through a difficult series of enemy engagements. Few starships have seen so much conflict over such a short period of time and survived. I am personally concerned, however, about the new ships the Cardassians have brought into battle. These Kessok ships. Who are the Kessok? Why are they allied to the Cardassians? And what new danger do they represent? Captain, Admiral Liu is sending us a secure message. On screen, Ensign. Captain, a large Cardassian strike force is headed for Starbase 12. Apparently, the vessels you encountered in the Tezel system were not part of the main fleet as Starfleet Intelligence thought. Numerous hostile ships are converging on this Starbase. I've contacted the rest of our fleet and informed them of the situation. But with our forces spread across the sector, it will be some time before they can respond. Our situation is dire, Captain. The Federation has sent Ambassador Salik of Vulcan here on a critical mission. If we lose this station, more importantly, if we lose the Ambassador, our tenuous foothold and hopes for this region of space will be lost. The Sovereign is the closest to our position. You will have to fight a delaying action until the rest of our forces can arrive. Please hurry, Captain. Our lives are in your hands. So much for Beal. I hope the shuttles will make it. Kiska, adjust our bearing to 30.79 Mark 15. Aye, Commander. Course Cancel altered. Cancel red alert. 12. We have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. Looks like we beat the Cardassians here. No contacts on long-range scan. Not yet, anyway. Captain, incoming message from Starbase 12. Good to see you, Sovereign. Good to see any friendly, in fact. There's not much time. I'm afraid we can't offer you full repairs, but we can give you a fresh torpedo load. Luckily, we've just received our shipment of quantum torpedoes. There's no more need to ration them. Your orders, Captain? Your orders, sir. Docking sequence initiated. Hello, Sovereign. Your orders, Captain? A group of Cardassian ships has entered the area. All hands to battle stations. Red alert. Red Reading, alert, Felix. shields up. You're not gonna like this, Commander. It's us against three Keldons. The odds are about even, then. I'll bet a month's holodeck privileges there's even more on the way. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Target hull integrity at 75%. Sir, we're going to hit. I'm picking up a Starfleet vessel entering the system, Captain. Sir, it's the Geronimo. Captain McRae is hailing us. On screen. 
Looks like you're in a spot of trouble, Sovereign, and could use some help. Welcome to the party, Gregory. We've been holding them so far, but the Cardassians aren't showing any signs of backing down. <laughs> well, no, I can't have you hoarding all the fun, can I? Besides, I've a score to settle with our friends here. Moving to engage. Sir, Sir, we are draining their to top hit. shield. Captain, another Cardassian strike wave is entering the system. Integrity at 75%. Captain, their shield system has been disabled. Captain, I'm picking up another ship entering the area. Sir, the raft shield Enterprise. has failed, Captain. The Enterprise is sending a broadcast hail to, to the Starbase. I'm linking us in. On screen. Starbase 12. This Target is the Enterprise. Target hull integrity what is at your 75%. Status? The Cardassians are putting up a stiff fight, Captain. We're a little outnumbered here. Understood. We're moving in to engage. Falling back for an attack run. Yes, sir. Call integrity at 50%. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Captain, three Kessok warships entering the system. They're bringing in their heavy guns now. This could be their final thrust. If we're lucky. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. The RAF shield has failed, Captain. Moving into attack range. Their bottom shield is draining, through sir. Phaser arcs. Lining up rear torpedo tubes. back for an attack run. Main power is at 50%. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Sir, we are draining Sir, their top we're going shield. To hit.
Their left shield has collapsed, sir. is severely damaged, sir. Target hull integrity at 50%. Captain, we're on a collision course. Target hull integrity at 20%. Captain, they're turning about. They're fleeing. I think we did Cancel it. Incoming Red message alert. from Captain Picard. On screen. Enterprise to Sovereign. Looks like Your we have them on the run. Is draining, sir. We'll pursue. You will remain here and protect the Starbase in the event any return. Captain Picard, we'll join you. My crew and I haven't finished with these Cardassian dogs yet. The Enterprise and Geronimo have left the system. Starbase 12 is hailing us. On screen. Captain, my commendations for a job well done. Starbase 12 owes you our lives. With the help of the Geronimo and the Enterprise, we can continue our operations in this region. Which brings me to the topic of your next assignment. The Cardassians are replacing their warships at a disturbingly rapid rate, and... What? Are you sure? Captain, our long-range sensors are picking up half a dozen contacts heading for Starbase 12. The retreat of the Strike Force was apparently meant to draw away our defenders. I will notify the Enterprise and Geronimo, but it may be too late by the time they return. We're counting on you to defend us again. Good luck, Captain. Liu, out. Captain, Six ships incoming have message just from Starbase in. 12. Their signature is Cardassian. Sorry, but Captain. We're a what? little busy for docking. They're freighters. Right now. Their freighters? forward shield is draining. Are they super freighters? No, just normal freighters. Slow moving, weak shields, no weapons. What are the Cardassians up to? Miguel. I'm scanning them. Commander, these freighters are loaded with plasma explosives. And there's no crew. They're on autopilot, headed for the Starbase. Red alert, shields up. They're going to ram the Starbase. We have to stop them. Captain, I'd advise maintaining distance from these freighters when we destroy them. The explosion is likely to be huge. One of the freighters is going to ram the Starbase. A freighter is closing in on the Starbase. Collision is imminent, sir. Their forward shield is draining. Captain, that freighter is too close to Starbase 12. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Their top shield has failed. Target hull integrity at 20%. Hall is severely damaged, sir. One of the freighters is going to ram the Starbase. Their top shield has failed. Their forward shield is draining. Sir, we are draining their top shield.
Their top shield has failed. A freighter is closing in on the starbase. Collision is imminent, sir. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Main power is at 50%. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Captain, that freighter is too close to Starbase 12. Their top shield has failed. Target hull integrity at 50%. Cancel red alert. That's the last of the freighters. No contacts on long range sensors. I think that's the end of them. Don't jinx us, Miguel. Starbase 12 is hailing us. On screen. Captain, I cannot thank you enough for defending the Starbase a second time. Now, if there are no further interruptions, I'll brief you on your next assignment. Captain, as I'm sure you're aware, at the rate the Cardassians are replacing their warships with these new vessels, the Federation is in grave danger. Our losses thus far haven't been extreme, but the Federation Council is rapidly coming to the conclusion that we cannot fight this war alone. Federation diplomats have been in contact with Klingon and Romulan ambassadors in an effort to form an alliance to deal with the resurgent Cardassian threat. The Klingons are eager to fight the Cardassians, but have a limited number of combat-worthy ships. And they have reservations about dealing with the Romulans. The Romulans are amenable to joining forces to fight the Cardassians, as it serves their own purposes. But they do not fully trust the Klingons, or the Federation, for that matter. Luckily, both parties have agreed to meet with us because of our coalition during the war with the Dominion. The Sovereign will serve as an escort for Ambassador Salik who is chosen by the Federation to lead the talks. He will give you the coordinates for the meeting once he is on board. Good luck, Liu out. Captain, Ambassador Salik has beamed aboard. Admiral Liu can't thank us enough for saving Starbase 12, so she's assigning us to chauffeur and babysit an ambassador. Now that's gratitude. Well, I'm relieved to be going on a mission that doesn't involve Cardassians firing at us. I suppose you would prefer a mission that had us facing a dozen galores. I would... That's enough. The Ambassador should be here any moment. Greetings, Captain. I am Ambassador Salek. Welcome aboard, Ambassador. This summit sounds like an exciting opportunity for the Federation. An opportunity born of necessity. Still, I believe the meeting will be a success. I will enter the coordinates of the rendezvous. Coordinates accepted. Course laid in for the Alberia system, Captain. May I suggest docking with the Starbase before we go? We could use a resupply and repairs. Captain, docking sequence initiated. As an extra special thanks for saving the Starbase, Admiral Liu has asked me to fit you with some prototype phased plasma torpedoes. These torpedoes can achieve partial phase, allowing them to pass through concentrated energy barriers such as shields before exploding. So you can expect them to pack quite a wallop. A note of caution, however. These torpedoes have never before been tested in the field. As you know, plasma explosives can be unstable and the phased plasma torpedoes are delicately balanced. Unfortunately, I don't have replacements for these torpedoes, so what I've given you is all you're going to get. Use them wisely and carefully. 
I hope Lou doesn't come to regret her decision to draft us as guinea pigs. Where's your sense of adventure, man? This is cutting-edge technology we're getting to work with. I can't wait to try them out. Brex, what did he mean these torpedoes are unstable? Are they safe to use? They're not going to blow up our ship or anything. Judging by the lab tests, there's only a 1% chance that the torpedoes will seep plasma when they're launched. And if that happens? The worst case scenario is that we lose a torpedo launcher. If you don't mind, Captain, I am quite eager to get to the summit. Your orders, Captain. Yes, sir. Arriving at the designated coordinates, Captain. I'm reading Lyra Station. No other contacts. We're right on time. Do you think they had a change of heart? We're talking Klingons and Romulans, and you mention hearts? Brex, science has proven unequivocally that they do have them. Klingons, in fact, have two. Captain, two ships decloaking directly ahead. One Romulan Warbird and a Klingon Vorcha class. The Klingon ship is signaling, sir. On screen. We meet again, Captain. Captain Corbus. I must admit some surprise at seeing you. What brings you here? Bah! Chauffeuring an ambassador from one place to another. Hardly the job for a warrior. Still, Chancellor Martok has great hope for this meeting. Though I have my doubts about Romulan integrity. Kabla! Signal from the Warbird, Captain. On screen. Well, Captain, it appears our paths were destined to cross again. Though I wish we weren't in the company of these Klingons. I am pessimistic and prepared for the worst. At least it will be a pleasant surprise if something positive comes from this summit. I hate to cut short our engrossing discussion, but our ambassador has beamed over to the station. The talks are ready to begin. Until next time, Captain. Terry out. I will take my leave of you now, Captain. The other ambassadors are assembled, and I do not wish to keep them waiting. Good luck, Ambassador. Farewell, Captain. Live long and prosper. Sir, can we negotiate an alliance? I have a hard time believing the Romulans would willingly cooperate with the Federation. Recent history would suggest it is possible. If you ask me, the Romulans are in this solely to serve their own interests. You don't think there will ever be a chance for peace between the Romulans and the Federation? An uneasy peace, maybe. Personally, I think the Romulans are more interested in finding out about that device the Cardassians have. And let's not leave the Klingons out of that equation. They would love to know about it too. For that matter, so would I. Well, whatever their motivation, a little extra muscle won't hurt. Captain, the Ambassador has beamed aboard the station. I suppose there's nothing to do now but sit, wait, and hope for the best. They also serve who only stand and wait. John Milton. Waiting is not what I do best. Captain, I'm picking up a number of contacts at the edge of the system. Their configuration is Cardassian. What? How could they have found us here? Incoming message from the Klingons, Captain. And the Romulans. I'll put them up one at a time. I knew that despicable Romulan had no honor. They have betrayed us, Captain. When we have defeated these Cardassian pests, I will have the head of that traitor. Sir, Derek. we're going to hit. I knew the Klingons would betray us. Their involvement with the Cardassians is obvious now. When this battle is over, Corbus will rue the day he openly defied the Romulan Star Empire. Wonderful. As if we didn't have enough to worry about. For what it's worth, Commander, they appear to be cooperating. At least they're not firing at each other. They've engaged the Cardassians. I suggest we do the same, Captain. Their forward shield is draining. Sir, the Cardassians are going after Lyra Station. We can't let them destroy that station, Captain. Not if there's a chance this alliance could work out.
Sir, the station's shields are draining. Their top shield has failed. Another wave of Cardassian vessels has entered Target the area. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target hull integrity at 20%. We're about to collide with a large mass of debris. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Power is at we are draining their top shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Main power is fluctuating, Captain. We'll have to reduce power to some systems. We are draining their top shield. Intercept course plotted. The raft shield has failed, Captain.
target hull integrity at 25%. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Cancel red alert. That appears to be the last of them. There are no enemy contacts on sensors. Captain, we're going to collide with that derelict. Captain, the Junk Ka is firing on the Cairo. Is Corbus out of his mind? It doesn't stand a chance. The Cairo is firing back. The Warbird's engines have been disabled. Corbus's weapons are out, and his hull is beginning to buckle. Incoming message from Captain Corbus. What are you waiting for, Captain? Help me destroy the Romulan traitor! Captain Tarek, on screen, sir. Captain, we have done nothing to provoke this attack. If you fire on my ship, I promise you, you will not live long enough to regret it. Have you no honor, Captain? Very well. If you will not help, then I will finish what I have started. Helm, prepare for ramming speed. Captain, we can't let him compromise the summit. Tractor beam engaged, Captain. We've stopped them. The John Ka is powering up its engines, Captain. Incoming message from Captain Corbus. They're moving toward the Cairo. Captain, what are you doing? Release the tractor beam at once, so I may have the honor of sending Tarek to a coward's death. Captain Tarek, on screen, sir. Ha! Your pathetic excuse for a warship would not have gotten close enough to throw insults. Excuse me, Captain, while I finish this fool. Enough. If our governments see merit in sending their best diplomats to discuss an alliance, then we should all follow suit. How can we form an alliance when we can't even work together? This Klingon's aggression is all the evidence I need of their treachery. The Cardassian attack on this secret outpost is proof of the Romulan betrayal. Who else knew? Don't discount Cardassian intelligence. They may have intercepted one of our transmissions. Incoming message from Ambassador Salik. On screen. Greetings, Captain. You will be pleased to learn that despite everything, our meeting was a success. Both the Klingon and Romulan delegations have endorsed the Alliance. I will remain here for the time being. When you return to Starbase 12, be sure to thank Admiral Liu for her part in organizing this summit. Well, gentlemen, it appears you are now ordered to get along. Very well. Until we meet again in battle. If it is the order of the Romulan Empire, Captain, then I will the follow Jankar it. Has left the system. Until we meet again, Captain. Sir, the Cairo has warped out. Incoming message from Starfleet, Captain. Excellent work, Captain. Your participation in the defense of the station allowed for the success of Ambassador Salek's mission. We owe you a debt of gratitude. Additionally, your ability to defuse the volatile situation between Corbus and Tarek was exceptional. I knew my faith in you was justified. Report back to Starbase 12 for your next assignment. I cannot go into details over a long-range, unsecured channel. I look forward to your arrival. Liu out. Captain? Course laid in. Yes, sir. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. Captain, for some time, Starfleet has been preparing a series of offensive strikes aimed at reclaiming the Alioth system and the rest of the Federation territory that the Cardassians have taken. With our victory here at Starbase 12, it is time to put that plan into action. Starfleet Intelligence has located a number of Cardassian sensor posts situated along the battlefront. We have confirmation the four main sensor posts are located in the Poseidon, Artrus, Gebel, and Ceres systems. These stations are able to monitor our movements and serve as an advance warning system. Any incursion into Cardassian-controlled space would be detected by these stations and readily intercepted. 
Therefore, it is imperative these sensor posts be destroyed before we conduct an offensive. Additionally, Starfleet Intelligence has located a Cardassian resupply outpost in the Acela system. It provides support for the majority of Cardassian forces protecting the Alioth crash site. If we are to retake the system and rescue Commander Data, this station must be neutralized. When these objectives have been achieved, contact me for further instructions. Good luck, Captain. Liu out. If we destroy the sensor posts first, we'd have better odds of taking the resupply outpost by surprise. Your orders, Captain. Docking sequence initiated. Bringing her in again, eh? Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Sir, there's a sensor post ahead. I'm picking up a Galore and a Keldon. Red alert, shields up. Yes, Captain? Changing torpedo load. Switching to photon torpedoes, Captain. Tractor beam has been disabled, Captain. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. Sir, we are draining their top shield. shield has failed. The raft shield has failed, Captain. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Captain, I'm picking up a Federation distress call on all frequencies. It's the Geronimo. To all Starfleet vessels, we've been ambushed in the Zion trading system and need immediate assistance. Our ship is meeting heavy resistance from Cardassian and Kessok ships. Please assist.
course laid in. Yes, Captain. Captain McRae is hailing us. On screen. Ah! Captain, are Sir, you a sight for sore eyes? We appear to have gotten ourselves into a right pickle. They've knocked out our warp engines. Uh, would you kindly help me properly exterminate these pests? Loading quantum torpedoes, sir. Their top shield has failed. Target hull integrity at 25%. We're in danger of colliding with another ship, Captain. Ah, you call that fighting? I'll show you a bloody fight. Full impulse. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target hull integrity at 20%. Collapse their We're bottom on shield. Course. Main power is at 50%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Captain McRae is hailing us. On screen. Captain, my warp drive is back online. I'm ready to go when you are. Sir, we're going to hit. Cancel red alert. Captain McRae is hailing us. On screen. Impeccable work, Captain. You really pulled my arse out of the fire. My compliments to your fine crew. It takes a lot to get the upper hand on old Gregory McRae. About three ships? Aye, Commander. But I gave him hell all the same. No use dying foolishly. I prefer heroically, given the choice. And much, much older. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Well, Captain, in light of your saving my buttocks, what do you say to my joining you? We've been ordered to join your task force to clear a path to the Alioth system. My warp drive is back online now. So lead on, good captain. We're with you till the end. Perhaps we should head back to Starbase 12 to rearm. The Geronimo could use some repairs as well. Captain? Course laid in. 
Aye, Captain. Red alert, shields up. Your orders, Captain? Engaging to destroy, Captain. Your orders, Captain. Their top shields have failed. through phaser arcs. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. Captain? Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 20%. Moving into attack range. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Moving into attack range. Captain, the last of the Cardassian ships has been destroyed. Message from the Geronimo, on screen. Moving in on the sensor station now. Moving into attack range. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Sensor station destroyed, Captain. Cancel red alert. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Docking sequence initiated. Hello, Sovereign. Yes, Captain. We must destroy the Cardassian sensor posts in the Poseidon system, Captain. Captain? Course laid in. Aye, aye.
The sensor post is ahead. I'm not reading any defenders. Why would they leave the sensor post undefended? This could be a trap. Or excellent timing. Message from the Geronimo. On screen. Hmm. Looks like nobody's home. Shall I attack the sensor post? Sir, I'm detecting several objects decloaking. Red alert, shields up. Captain, multiple torpedoes inbound. They're positrons. Kessok signature. I suggest evasive maneuvers, sir. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. They have acknowledged the command. Another volley of torpedoes incoming. I'm guessing there are more of those cloaked torpedo launchers out there. Several more. Can we detect them before they fire, Target hull integrity at 75%. Not likely, Commander. I recommend we finish our business here and leave. Another volley of torpedoes incoming. Another volley of torpedoes incoming. Captain, the sensor post has been destroyed. laid in. Yes, sir. Sir, more torpedoes. Captain, I'm picking up a sensor post and one other contact. It has the same energy signature as the Kesslock vessels we fought off at Starbase 12, and I can't detect any life signs aboard. But that's where the Cancel similarities red end. Alert. It's an entirely different configuration. Judging by its size, I'd say this is some kind of heavy assault cruiser. We'll soon find out. The Kessok ship has detected us and is powering her weapons. Captain McRae is hailing us. Red On alert, screen. shields up. Whoa, that's a big ship. I'll set him up and you knock him down, Captain. Our forward shield is draining. Initiating scan. I'm not finding anything new, Captain. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 20%. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks.
The Kessok ship has been destroyed, Captain. Message from the Geronimo. On screen. Woo -hoo -hoo, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. We're closing in on the sensor post now. Sensor post destroyed, Captain. Cancel red alert. Yes, sir? Yes, Captain? Captain, we must destroy the Cardassian sensor post in the Ceres system. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Captain, I'm reading three Galore class vessels circling the sensor station. Message from the Geronimo. Red On alert, screen. shields up. We're right with you, Sovereign. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Target hull integrity at 20%. Hall is severely damaged, sir. We're in danger of colliding with another ship, Captain. Their top shield has failed. Shield is draining, sir. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. The last galore has been destroyed, Captain. Captain McRae is hailing us. On screen. Engage in the sensor post now. Target hull integrity at 50%.
sensor station has alert. been destroyed, sir. I've reported our progress to Admiral Liu. She's responding. On screen, Ensign. Good work destroying the sensor posts. Now take out the resupply base so we can retrieve Commander Data. Liu out. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. Docking sequence initiated. Hello, Sovereign. Your orders, sir. Your orders, sir? We must destroy the Cardassian resupply station in the Acela system. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Captain, I've located the resupply station on long-range sensors. It's in a cell of three. With the Cardassian listening posts out of commission, it should be difficult, if not impossible, for them to detect our approach. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Hi, Captain. Captain, I have the station on scanners. Threat assessment, Lieutenant. Three Cardassian warships and four freighters docked with the station. In their current state of readiness, I'd say we caught them by surprise. The docked ships appear to be unpowered, Captain. If we move fast, we might be able to take them out before they can bring their drive systems online. <laughs> Looks like we caught them with their pads down, Sovereign. We're moving in. Can you get a reading on what's in those freighters, Miguel? Negative, Intercept Commander. course, plotted. They seem to have some kind of dampening feel around their hull. Sensors are unable to penetrate. If they go through that much trouble to hide it, then whatever they're carrying must be important. Maybe we could disable one of the freighters. Captain, the station is sending a narrow beam subspace transmission. It looks like a distress call. Ensign, try to jam their communications. The last thing we need are more Cardassian ships coming to the party. Aye, Commander. The freighter is disabled. The 
The Galores are powering up their engines and weapons systems, sir. He's right. The Galores are coming online and the freighters are preparing to make a run for it. Sir, we're going to hit. That freighter's going nowhere now. Freighter's going nowhere now. That freighter's going nowhere now. The raft shield has failed, Captain. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Sir, Target another ship is on a collision at 20%. course. Captain, the station has raised shields and is powering up its weapon systems. Captain, scanners registering new contacts entering the system. They must be responding to the station's distress call. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 25%. Shield draining, Captain. Shield draining, Captain.
Sir, another ship is on a collision course with us. Supply post has been destroyed, Captain. I've reported our progress to Admiral Liu. She's responding. On screen, Ensign. Cancel red Excellent alert. Excellent work, Captain. With the sensor stations and resupply outposts destroyed, our plans to retake the Alioth system can proceed. Return to Starbase 12 to rearm and prepare for the final phase. Liu out. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Incoming message from the Admiral, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. Our final assault on the Alioth system is ready. We've assembled a battle group with which we intend to seize control of the system. You will lead this mission, Captain. When you are prepared, take your battle group to the Alioth system. Reconnaissance has learned that the Cardassians have moved Litvaknor, a fully armed battle station, over Alioth 6 to protect the crash site where you located the alien device. Your task is to eliminate the station and destroy or drive off any Cardassian vessels in the system. You can expect heavy resistance. It is also imperative that you re-establish contact with Commander Data on the surface. He may have learned valuable information about the device, provided he was able to survive this long. We must retake Alioth and discover why the Cardassians want that device so badly. Our hopes are with you. Good luck. All ships, this is the Sovereign. We're ready to move out. The Geronimo is hailing us. On screen. When we pluck his horse out from under the Cardis, Commander Data will owe us all a round of drinks. And none of that replicated Synthahol, neither. Yes, Captain? Docking sequence initiated. Good to see you again, Sovereign. Captain? Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Looks as if they were expecting us. I have a Cardassian battle group moving to intercept us from Alioth 6. Litvaknor is going to be tough enough to tackle without having to deal with them.
Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. Their top shield has failed. Target hull integrity at 50%. Their aft shield has failed, Captain. Captain, we're on a collision course. Its hull has been breached, Captain. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target hull integrity at 20%. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Cancel red alert. Sir, we should move to Alioth 6 and destroy the station before reinforcements arrive. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Captain, I have the station on sensors. Cardassian ships moving to intercept. We should be wary of Litvak Nor. It's equipped with disruptors, even stronger than those of the resupply station. If it has disruptors, why isn't it using them? They're not even charged. Maybe they ran out of juice. Miguel, can you locate Commander Data? Trying. Red alert, commander. shields up. That planet is besieged orders, by ionic Captain. storms with highly toxic levels of gaseous magnetite. Intercept course, Kiss spotted. Direct a broadcast hail at the planet. Aye, Commander. Sovereign to Commander Data. Captain. Litvak Nor is jamming our communications directed at the planet. Miguel, Brex. Solutions? Well, if you give me a few hours, I could conduct a detailed analysis on the phase interference of the station's... Or we could just destroy the base. I like that idea. More Cardassian ships are on an intercept course.
Another ship is on a collision course with us. I'm receiving a new contact. It's the Enterprise. Incoming message from the Enterprise, sir. On screen. I'm sorry we couldn't join you earlier. Our ship seems to be a very popular target. So is ours, it would appear. Yes, I can see that. The Sovereign is making quite more a name Cardassian for ships are on an intercept Have course. Have you established contact with Commander Data yet? I'm Our afraid not, shields sir. are draining, sir. We've been unable to locate his communicator signal. And to complicate matters, the station is blocking our hails to the planet. Then our first priority should be to eliminate the station. I will contact you when that is done. Card out. The Cardassian base has been destroyed, sir. Captain, the Cardassians are retreating. Incoming message from the Enterprise, sir. On screen. Good work, Sovereign. Now we can contact Commander Data. The planet's atmospheric conditions are quite harsh. Could Data have survived this long by himself? One thing I've learned, Commander, is that Data is remarkably resourceful. The real question becomes not did he survive, but is he still on this planet? The ionic storms make that impossible to determine, sir. I get sensor echoes and all kinds of distortions. We just can't trust the readings we're getting. My chief engineer concurs with that assessment. However, we have an idea on how to locate him. Data's positronic brain has a subspace transceiver that can pick up narrowband transmissions tuned to the correct amplitude. The transceiver should receive your transmission through the storms if you use your enhanced deflector to amplify the signal. The information is being sent now. Picard out. Chief. Recalibrating the main deflector to emit narrow band subspace signals, linking main deflector control to ops. Kiska, direct a broadcast hail at the planet. Aye, Commander. Sovereign to Commander Data. Sovereign to Commander Data. Cancel red Sovereign alert. Sovereign to Commander Data. Please respond. Sorry, Commander. I'm not sure we're even cutting through the interference created by the ion storms. Perhaps we should increase power to the sensor array. Your orders, Captain? Your orders, Captain. Sovereign to Commander Data. Sovereign to Commander Data. Please respond. We need to get closer to the planet. Shall I take us into orbit? Captain? Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Entering standard orbit. Sovereign to Commander Data. Sovereign to Commander Data. Please receive. Data to Sovereign. I am receiving you. Please acknowledge. Commander, it's good to hear your voice. Are you all right? I am fine, but the shuttle took severe damage from the ionic storm shortly after landing. However, I was able to gather a great deal of information on the silicate device we located earlier. I have activated pattern enhancers. That should allow you to get a transporter lock and stabilize the matter stream to beam me aboard. Boosting power to transporters. I've patched into the pattern enhancer's main buffer. I have a lock on commander data. The stream should be stable enough for transport. Bringing him aboard now. Incoming message from the Enterprise, sir. On screen. Excellent work, Captain. 
However, to be prudent, we should move out of the area before more Cardassian reinforcements arrive. I will organize a security and retrieval force to hold Ali off and salvage useful parts of the Kessok device. You should return to Starbase 12, Picard out. Thank you for coming to my aid. You must excuse my untidy uniform. That's quite all right. Welcome aboard, Commander. Captain, I am relaying the good news to Admiral Liu now. Incoming message, sir. It's the Admiral. On screen, Ensign. Captain, we are delighted that you were able to find Commander Data and secure the alien device. Well done indeed. Commander Data, were you able to discern anything about this technology and its application in the time you were on the planet? Yes, Admiral. The device comprises a silicate polymer base with intricate optronic nodes interlaced throughout its structure. It is a fascinating design in that... Commander, I'm sure it's intriguing, and we do intend to study the artifact more extensively at a later date. But what can you tell us of its application? Ah, yes. Its main function seems to be to regulate the process of fusion in a star by resonating the natural levels of radioactive isotopes within its core. Then it effectively increases the amount of radiation emitted by a star? Precisely. That is its primary function. However, it would seem that many crude and sloppy modifications were made to the alien device, causing it to hyper-accelerate the fusion within the Vesuvi star. The modifications to the device were effected using control rods of known Cardassian design. So the Cardassians were meddling with this alien device and didn't know what they were doing? That would be a logical assumption considering the facts at hand. The destruction of the Vesuvi star may have been caused by a miscalculation on their part, which would explain their interest in keeping others from knowing what occurred. Commander, could the Cardassians be in possession of any more of these devices? Quite possibly. There was a highly complex language engraved on the outside of the device. I was unable to completely decipher its meaning, though it appears to contain a numeric designation, indicating this device is one of many such probes. Can these devices be detected in any way? I believe they can. While studying the optronic nodes within the device, I was able to predict that it would generate a field of antiprotons when activated. Antiprotons are not a natural byproduct of solar fusion, and their presence near a star would be an indication that such a device is in use. Commander Data, I will relay your findings to our long-range scouts. We must locate these weapons before they are put to use again, this time with intent. Proceed immediately to Starbase 12, Captain. You out. Leaving orbit. laid in. Yes, sir. Personal log, Commander Data. Stardate 55416.1. The Kessok device was remarkably intact despite the impact of its landing and the harsh conditions of Alioth 6. If only my shuttle had held as well, I could have saved the Sovereign the trouble of my rescue. The device should provide much needed information. However, the logic of the machine itself is somewhat illogical from what I've discovered so far. An in-depth analysis should prove extremely interesting. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. Captain, it is evident from Commander Data's report that these alien devices pose an extreme hazard to all Federation colonies in the area. We cannot maintain a presence here while these weapons exist. Therefore, your orders are to locate and destroy these devices. Admiral, the devices are mobile and capable of warp. Finding them will be a challenge. Exactly for that reason, Commander, I'm extending your assignment on board the Sovereign. You will be most helpful in finding more of the devices. 
Also, continue your research of Kesak technology. The more we know about it, the better. Understood, Admiral. I'm assigning the USS Geronimo and USS San Francisco to your task force. Captain, I cannot stress enough the importance of this mission. The Federation's hopes lie with you. You out. Incoming message from the Geronimo. On screen. We're standing by, Sovereign. Ready when you are. San Francisco standing by, Captain. It's a huge area of space, Captain. Where do we start? As I pointed out earlier, Commander, the Kesak probes emit a high concentration of anti-protons while in use. I am afraid that is the only real lead we have. Chief Brex, if you modify your sensors, you may be able to get more accurate readings in the upper EM band. The devices will only emit anti-protons while in use, so we should concentrate our search near the stars of this sector. Chief! Already on it, Commander. Done. Go ahead, Miguel. Captain, long-range sensors are picking up unusually high concentrations of anti-protons in the Reha system. It could be one of the devices. Sir, I've added the coordinates for the Reha system to the con. Your orders, sir. Docking sequence initiated. Bringing her in again, eh? Your orders, Captain. Yes, sir. Captain, I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the local sun. I can't get any discernible readings, though. Can you get a more precise location? Not at this range, Commander. There's too much interference. Captain, I'm picking up two Kessok ships and a Cardassian galore. The Kessok have detected us and are moving to engage. The galore is remaining behind. Hmm. What's that galore up to? If we can disable them, we Red might alert, be able shields to ask up. that question. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. Transmitting Their your new orders. Their body shield is captain. draining, sir. Orders acknowledged, sir. Their left shield is draining, Captain. is severely damaged, sir. Intercept course plotted.
Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. Captain, the Galore has been disabled. Good. Let's come back to the Galore after we finished off these castles. Sir, we're going to hit. Intercept course, plotted. Their forward shield is draining. Captain, the last Kessok ship has been destroyed. Let's see about that galore now. Target hull integrity at 50%. Cancel red alert. Yes, Captain. Intercept course, plotted. Captain? Initiating scan. I'm not reading any life signs on board, sir. The crew is dead. Their life support system might have been destroyed in the battle. Incoming message from the Geronimo. On screen. With your permission, Captain, I'd like to do the honors of putting away that galore myself. It might be prudent to check their log. The Gull might not have had time to destroy it. Operations, Miguel. As far as I can tell, her bridge is still functional. Give us some time, Captain McRae. That ship may have some secrets to tell us. Understood, Sovereign. Linking through communications. Kiska? We have a lot, Captain. Running checks. Got it. Downloading now. Here. This should be the relevant part. It's the mission logs of their gull, Havar. Audio only, sir. Mission log of the Kyria. We have been assigned a defensive role for one of the four devices. Four devices? And are en route to the Reha system. Matan warned us to take every safety precaution, as the Federation has two Sovereign-class vessels prowling the sector, making a fine mess of our carefully laid plans. The logs continue, but are very broken up. It looks like the Gull tried to purge mission logs, but it only worked halfway. I'll clear it up as much as I can. Here's an interesting part, sir. This is from the final entry. Kessoff technology cannot close it. Object of this size, it... Use the cloak and... Acquired from the Ferengi. After a few moderate... Successfully cloak the device. For now, it is linked to our ship's own... Soon, we will link it to its own power source. So, the Kessok device is cloaked. That would explain why we couldn't find it on our sensors. Destroying the Galore should disable the cloaking field. Should we allow McCray to do the honors, sir? Your orders, Captain. Sending orders. With they pleasure, have acknowledged Sovereign. the command. Captain, the lore has been destroyed. Captain, there is an object decloaking nearby. On screen. Look at that. It's the Kessock device. Captain, it's using a Romulan cloaking device. Why would the Romulans give the Cardassians a cloaking device? 
I assume the Cardassians acquired it from another source. The device appears to be powering up to direct a pulse of high-energy plasma directly into the sun. There are no signs of external or internal weapons. Well, that's not very reassuring. We've seen what one of these things can do to a solar system. Even if we don't know how it does what it does, we can just take it out, can't we? That's the problem, Chief. I'm not sure where to lock our phasers. I can't detect any vulnerable areas. We could increase power to the sensors. We might be able to penetrate the shielding and get a better idea of the inner workings of this thing. Yes, sir? Your order, sir. Initiating scan. Scan successful. Commander Data, what do you make of this? Interesting. These scans are going to take some detailed analysis. However, I believe it is safe to destroy this device. But aren't we risking destroying the entire system with it? I trust Commander Data's assessment. I have isolated the device's component systems. If we focus phaser fire on the warp core, I believe we can neutralize it. Lieutenant Savali, I have transferred the new targeting information to you. Received. I've targeted the device's warp core, ready to fire on your command, Captain. Red alert, shields up. Your order, sir. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Moving into attack range. We have collapsed Sweeping their bottom through shield. Arcs. Cancel red alert. Captain, the device has been destroyed. Captain, I will update Starfleet with our current findings. We should continue our search. Captain, now that the device is destroyed, our scans may be able to pick up more distant anti-proton emissions. Your orders, Captain. Initiating scan. Sir, I'm picking up more anomalous readings near the Sebel Rai system sun. I think we may have found another one of the devices. I've entered the coordinates for Sebel Rai into the navigational computer. Your orders, sir. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Your order, sir. Initiating scan. Captain, I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the local sun. I can't get any discernible readings, though. Your order, sir. Course laid in. Yes, Captain. Captain, I'm reading a second Kessok device. We're in luck. They didn't bother cloaking this one. Red they alert, shields to. up. I'm also reading half a dozen Kessok vessels. Is there any more good news? Well, our odds are pretty slim against that many Kessok warships. Perhaps we can evade them long enough to yes, destroy sir? the device they are protecting. Whatever we do, we should do it fast. The Kessok have just noticed us and are turning to intercept. The heavy cruiser is staying back. They're coming at us in waves. 
They're locking weapons. We have to get past the defensive line. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. They have acknowledged the command. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Target hull integrity at 25%. Transmitting your new orders, bottom Captain. shield. Orders acknowledged, sir. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Hall is severely damaged, sir. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Sir, we're going to hit. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. Sending orders. Their orders bottom acknowledged, shield is draining, sir. sir. Power is Sending at 50%. Orders. They have acknowledged the command. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. They have acknowledged the command. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Target hull integrity at 50%. Sir, we are draining their top shield.
target hull integrity at 25%. We're in danger of colliding with another ship, Captain. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Auxiliary power is at 50%. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Target hull integrity at 50%. Captain, our attacks are draining their right shield. is severely damaged, sir. Intercept course plotted. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Transmitting your new orders, sir. Captain. The Kessar heavy is leaving. Sir. Huh? Sir, but we've the heavy cruiser her. has gone into warp. Your order, sir. Engaging to destroy, Captain. Their forward shield is draining. Moving into attack range. Main power is sweeping through phaser. We'll have to reduce power to some systems. Yes, sir. Your order, sir. Shield is draining, sir. are draining their right shield. Main power is offline. Cancel red alert. The solar device has been destroyed, Captain. We should continue our search. Your order, sir. Initiating scan. Sir, I'm getting faint anti-proton readings. I'm not sure, but they could be coming from the Belarus system. It might be worth checking out. Captain, I've transferred the coordinates for Belarus to the con. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Captain? Initiating scan. 
Captain, I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the local sun. I can't get any discernible readings, though. Yes, sir? Course laid in. Aye, aye. Not picking up any contacts, Captain. But the nebula ahead is so large it could be hiding an armada of Kessok ships. And we wouldn't know it until we ran into them. Miguel, are you certain the anti-proton radiation is coming from this system? Yes, Commander. It's unmistakable from this distance. I'd be willing to bet the third Kessok device is hiding somewhere in that nebula. We can do a pattern search of the nebula to see what we can find. Miguel, you're in the crow's nest. Commander? Crow's nest is a nautical term from ancient Earth. Translation, you're on the lookout. Oh, aye aye, Commander. Kiska, plot a course that will take us in a search pattern through the nebula. Yes, Commander. Done. Ready to enter the nebula on your order, Captain. Captain? Yes, sir. Captain, I've detected a large object ahead. Is it the Kessok device? We need to get closer to identify it, but the anti-proton radiation is definitely getting stronger. Yes, Captain? Sir, Kessok warship ahead. Preparing to maneuver. Captain, this ship is the same heavy cruiser that fled from us at Yellow alert, ride. shields up. And there's a solar device next to it. The Kessok is not moving. Dead in space? No, she's armed and powered. I can't detect any damage to their systems. The Geronimo is hailing us. On screen. We have a clear angle of fire on the Kessok warship, Sovereign. We can take it out. I have the Kessok ship targeted, Sovereign. Standing by. This looks like a chance to kill two birds with one stone. The Kessok shields are down. Why doesn't she do something? Not being fired on is good. But suspicious. Yes, Captain? They're responding. On screen. You must hope my Ossenton send us so many yards. Commander, can you clear up the speed? With the knowledge I gained from studying the Kessok device, I should be able to enhance the translation. One moment. Do submit your Osh tank, Captain. Now, keep it sounds upset. Waiting. Done. The Kessok's speech will clear in a moment. Send your silicon captain to us at once. I will wait, but not long. Out. Silicon captain? Do they mean you, Commander Data? I believe so. Fascinating. Captain. I am willing to transport to the Kessok ship and attempt a peaceful first contact. Out of the question, sir. We know nothing of their intent. Nevertheless, it is a risk I am willing to take. Your decision, Captain? How may I assist? I believe you have made the right choice, Captain. I will report to the transporter room. I trust your instincts are right about this, Captain. The transporter room reports they are standing by. Commander Data is in the transporter room. Energizing. He is now aboard the Kessok ship. No signs of hostility from the cruiser. No signs of life from the cruiser either. Keep a lock on his comm badge and prepare to bring him back at the first sign of trouble. The first sign of trouble was when we found the Kessok ship. Well, I suppose there's nothing to do now but sit, sit wait, wait, and, and hope, hope for, the for the best. best. Yes. 
quite. I don't like this feeling in my gut. Maybe you should have passed on the Vulcan Trone souffle for lunch. A little indigestion is only natural. Gentlemen, I prefer complete silence when I'm biting my nails. Audio from Commander Data's comm badge. It's a little garbled. Clearing up and patching through. Data to Sovereign. I am on the bridge of the Kessok ship and have encountered no hostility from its crew. Thank goodness. We had an unusual development. There were no light signs that could be read because our sensors are geared to read carbon-based life forms. The Kessok are silicon-based life forms? Indeed. I've been communicating with the captain of this vessel. It has taken an interest in me as I have a number of silicon components. I've been able to open a dialogue with you. Please report, Commander. I believe a face-to-face -face conversation would be of more benefit. One moment, please. <whistles> Sir, this is Captain Neblus. It was initially very nervous, not certain what to expect from us. I reassured it and explained our chain of command. Also, I have perfected the Kessok speech translation. Neblus would now like to address you. Greetings, Captain. I have long urged this meeting on my government. They have been too reliant solely on Cardassian contact for information. Then you speak for the Kessok government. Sadly, no. I have ascertained that Captain Neblus is a respected leader, but with a reputation as a free thinker. A rebel? A maverick? Just so. Neblus suspected Cardassian motives when the Kessok were first discovered by them. The Federation was painted as the enemy, who would enslave and exterminate the Cardassians and the Kessok. We wished only to be left to develop our colonies in isolation, but the Cardassians convinced my government we were in danger of being subjugated for our technology. The solar devices? Solar forming platforms. They alter the radiation of a sun to make systems more hospitable for colonization. How did the Cardassians get them? I believe the Cardassians manipulated and lied to us. They used us to help rebuild their fleet, claiming they would protect us. I questioned my government as to why the Cardassians never patrolled areas essential to our people. The ships we built for them are controlled by the Cardassian called Matan. Matan. It always comes back to him. He would allow no communication between my government and your Federation. This seemed folly to me, so I decided to arrange a meeting with you. Since you did not take advantage of my ship's lowered shields, I know I have made the right decision. Our orders are to destroy the devices. I will allow you to examine this device and ascertain its application for yourself, but it must remain in my custody. We rely on these devices for the welfare of our people. Forgive me, sir. Can we trust a Kessok? You are wise to be cautious, Commander. However, I believe we may give Nebulus the benefit of the doubt. There is no evidence that it is trying to deceive us. With respect, sir, you keep calling Captain Neblus it. Is it... the Captain... female? The Kessuk seem to be unconcerned with gender differences, Ensign. And now is not a good time to ask for definitions. Captain, I will examine the solar device on this ship. With Neblus' help, I should be able to learn much more. While we're waiting, this would be a good time to contact Starfleet and tell them what we've learned of the Kessok. Yes, Captain? I've informed Admiral Liu of our progress. She's responding. Great job, Captain. I'm overjoyed that we've made peaceful contact with the Kessok. And frankly, I'm relieved that you didn't follow my orders to the letter by destroying all the devices. Incidentally, 
I contacted the Romulan government to inform them we found one of their cloaking devices in the hands of the Cardassians. They admitted to losing two cloaking devices. There's no telling if or where the other may turn up. After Commander Data has completed his research, please extend an invitation for Captain Nebulus to join us at Starbase 12. We have a lot to talk about. Liu out. Message from Data. He's ready to come back now. Brex. Yes, Commander. Energizing. He is on board now. We should head back to Starbase 12. Your orders, Captain. Yes, sir. Course laid in. Cancel yellow alert. Aye, aye. Welcome back, Captain. Commander Data, I presume you've had a chance to thoroughly examine the information on the Kessak devices? Yes, Admiral and I have come to a conclusion. I believe the purpose and intent of these devices is simply to reform suns for Kessak colonies. It is only through Cardassian tampering that these solar formers become weapons. Interesting. We've located the one remaining solar device. It is orbiting the sun of the Omega Draconis system, home to what we believe is a newly colonized Kessak world. Cloaked Klingon and Romulan ships have been able to accomplish close recons of the system, but the results are less than conclusive. Admiral, during my communication with the Kessak Captain Neblis, I learned that there has been a steady buildup of the Cardassian fleet with Kessak assistance and technology. Then we cannot tell how much opposition to expect. Romulan intelligence confirms the Cardassians have recently activated large tachyon emitters throughout the system. These emitters disrupt subspace, preventing both warp travel within the system and communication with the main Kessak colony at Omega Draconis III. The Kessak must believe the Cardassians are doing this to protect them. And this complicates things since Neblus cannot contact the Kessak government. Neblus has offered to return to the Omega Draconis colony and spread the word of the Cardassian deception. But with the tachyon emitters preventing communications, the news would siphon too slowly and we would lose our chance at the solar former. I agree, Commander. Therefore, the tachyon emitters must be destroyed as soon as possible. Captain, in light of your outstanding performance, you have been selected to lead our battle group into the Omega Draconis system. Neblis has agreed to join us with its ship, the Neblig. I do not expect the Kessak to attack us if they see us with Neblis, but undoubtedly they will need the situation explained to them before they take any action against the Cardassians. You may choose a second ship to accompany you, Captain. Very well, Captain. Tarek may have reservations about serving alongside a Kessak, but on the bright side, he commands a powerful ship. Admiral, with respect, wouldn't a larger battle group increase our chances of success? Not necessarily, Commander. We hope to minimize the casualties that would result in a large-scale offensive. Cardassian intelligence will be watching for large groups of ships moving through warp. You will benefit from the element of surprise. Remember, once you arrive at Omega Draconis, you will not be able to communicate with me due to the interference from the tachyon emitters. Once they are down, you should be able to warp deeper into the system. 
The remainder of our ships in this sector will join Klingon and Romulan task forces to attack two targets, Cardassian shipyards, in an effort to draw the attention away from your objective. However, once they discover our real goal, you can expect waves of reinforcements in defense of their lines. One thing more, if you come across Matan, do not allow him to escape. Stopping the Solar Former will correct the current situation, but if Matan remains at large, he will cause problems in the future. Good luck, Captain. Liu out. Is there a way to filter through the Tachyon emissions to communicate with our allies? Subspace communication is out of the question. However, I, I can create a direct line of sight laser link between ships to use for short range point to point transmission with our battle group. Please do so, Chief. Yes, Commander. Captain, there's a ship decloaking nearby. On screen. Relax, Lieutenant. It's just Tarek trying to give us all heart attacks. Captain Tarek is hailing us. On screen. Captain, we have a war trail to follow. I defer to your leadership. Captain, you are not actually bringing that Kessak with us. How can you trust the enemy? Incoming transmission from the Neblig. Patching through to the view screen. You have my assurance that I will not betray you. The welfare of my people is at stake. I join you with hope, Captain. This is not our way. But I believe I must cooperate with you. I will communicate with my government as soon as we have destroyed these tachyon emitters. Until then, try to avoid attacking any of my people's ships. We'll do our best, Captain Neblis, but I trust you'll understand if it becomes necessary to defend ourselves. If it comes to that, as God's will. Course laid in for the Omega Draconis system, sir. Yes, Captain. Docking sequence initiated. Good to see you again, Sovereign. Your orders, sir? Captain? We have to destroy any tachyon emitters that prevent us from contacting the Kessak colony. Yes, sir? Aye, aye. Captain, our warp field has collapsed due to the subspace interference. Red alert, this is shields as close up. as we're going to be able to get until we Your take order, out the tachyon emitters. We're at the far edge of the Omega Draconis system. Captain, I've got a fix on the Cardassian lines of defense. The force is comprised of several Keldons. I don't think they've detected us yet. All Keldons? Not even a single galore? Maybe we destroy them all. The Cardassians have spotted us. They're powering up weapons and moving to engage. Neblis is hailing us, Captain. On screen. Engaging to Captain, destroy. Captain. I am standing by to contact Your my orders, people once you've dealt with the tachyon emitter. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Sending orders. Moving into attack the command. Range. Your orders, Captain. Your orders, sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Captain? Sir, we are draining their top shield. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. 
The RAF shield has failed, Captain. Falling back for an attack run. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Captain. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. Sending orders. They have acknowledged yes, the command. Integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 50%. Shield has failed, Captain. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. They have acknowledged the command. Transmitting your sir, new orders. Sir, we are draining Captain. their top shield. Orders acknowledged, sir. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Sir, another ship is on a collision course with us. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. Target hull integrity at 20%. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. Intercept course, plotted. That's the last of them, Captain. Now we can destroy that tachyon emitter with no interruptions. Yes, sir?
target hull integrity at 75%. Cancel red alert. The tachyon emitter has been destroyed, Captain. Neblis is hailing us, Captain. On screen. This tachyon emitter was destroyed, but I still cannot contact the colony. There must be another emitter somewhere ahead. Captain, the tachyon emissions have dissipated enough that we should be able to warp now. Now might be a good time to return to Starbase 12 for reload and repairs. When we're ready, we should continue toward the colony at Omega Draconis 3. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Aye, aye. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Docking sequence initiated. Welcome back. Yes, Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. I managed to get us pretty close to Omega Draconis 3 before the warp field collapsed. The Kessak colony is ahead and several ships surrounding it. Cardassians and Kessok, all combat ready. It looks like they were expecting us. The Cardassian ships are moving to engage. The Kessok ships are standing down. It looks like we won't have to fight them. Yes, having a Kessok escort works like a charm. Captain, we should destroy that tachyon emitter as soon as possible, so we can parlay with the Kessok colony. Neblis is hailing us, Captain. On screen. 
destroying the emitter should allow me to contact the colony. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. <laughs> sir, we are draining their top shield. Target hull integrity at 75%. Target hull integrity at 25%. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Their top shield has failed. Intercept course plotted. Cancel red alert. Changing torpedo load. Target hull integrity at 50%. Target hull integrity at 20%. Captain. Emitter destroyed, Captain. That's done it, sir. Comm channels are beginning to clear up. Incoming message from Captain Neblis. It reports it is signaling the Kessek colony. Sending orders. They have acknowledged the command. is taking so long. Neblis is hailing us, Captain. On screen. Finally. Hail, Captain. I have told my people of the Cardassian treachery. They have reluctantly agreed to support you in your efforts here and they will be open to Federation diplomacy after this situation is diffused. Captain, I'm reading several new contacts. Red alert, they look shields like up. the hybrids we Captain? found at the Shambana shipyard. The energy signature is that of Kessok ships. I'm receiving a transmission on an open channel to all ships. On screen. This is Legate Matan of the Cardassian Empire. Your presence here is in violation of Cardassian sovereignty. You have had but a taste of our end. Port shield draining, Captain. The power we wield. Continue, and you will risk extinction. Leave this system at once, or be destroyed. Miguel, which ship is Matan in? I can't tell, Commander. His transmission was diffracted laterally among the hybrids. Incoming message from the Kessak Commander. Their ships are going to fall back to defend their colony. They're disengaging, sir. What? I guess they're pessimistic about our odds of stopping Matan. Neblis is hailing us, Captain. On screen. I apologize, Captain, for my people's withdrawal. I cannot explain or condone the political decision our, our ventral shields are draining, made. sir. However, I will remain with you to help against these Cardassian abominations. Captain Tarek is hailing us. On screen. I'm not worried, Captain. 
there's no Cardassian machination that can stand against Romulan technology. I was right about their energy signatures. These hybrids combine Cardassian and Kessok technology. They seem to have added a few touches of their own. They aren't using standard Cardassian or Kessok weapons. Leave it to the Cardassians to find a better way to destroy. Any ideas, Chief? Just two. Keep our strong shields toward them and use quantum torpedoes. New contact entering system. It's the Enterprise. Sir, Captain we are Picard draining their us. top shield. On screen. Enterprise to Sovereign, we're here to assist you. Not a moment too soon, Captain. The Cardassians are putting up stiff resistance. We'll see if we can remedy that. Hold tight, we're moving to engage. Main power is at 50%. Target hull integrity at 75%. We have collapsed their bottom shield. Captain, we're going Captain, to collide. We have with that collapsed derelict. their bottom shield. integrity at 75%. Target's hull has been breached. Captain. Switching to photon torpedoes, Captain. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Fluctuating, Captain. We'll have to reduce power to some systems. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Main power is off. Target line. hull integrity at 20%. Cancel red alert. That's the last of the hybrids. So much for Matan. I'm receiving a broadcast message. Sir. It's Matan. What? All the hybrids are destroyed. On screen. You've worn out your welcome, Starfleet. Prepare to meet your doom. Ship to cloaking, sir. It's a Romulan... No, wait. It's a Keldon. Now we know where the second cloaking device ended up. That must be Matan. A Keldon with a cloaking device. What will they think of next? Captain, Matan is getting away. The Enterprise is hailing us. On screen. Matan is headed for a solar former. He could be trying to set up a chain reaction similar to the one in the Vesuvi system. Captain, a wave of hybrids is pouring into the system. The hybrids are attacking the Kessok colony. The Kessok will be slaughtered. Their heavy cruisers don't stand a chance against the hybrids' enhanced weapons. It's as if the Cardassians designed the hybrids to be Kessok killers. Captain, proceed to the Omega Draconis Sun and stop the solar force. We will remain here to protect the colony. You must engage Matan to prevent him from destroying this system. The Kessok are counting on you. We are counting on you. The card out. Incoming transmission from the Neblik. Patching through to the view screen. I'm 
sorry, Captain, but I must stay with the colony. May the gods shield you. Incoming message from the Cairo. Transferring to the view screen. Sir, Captain, the right shield has failed. I must remain here to protect Romulan interests. I trust you'll be able to handle a lone Keldon. Captain? Course laid in. Yes, sir. I'm picking up a single Keldon. It's Matan's ship, Captain. The solar former is right beside him. Your ship is cloaking. Matan sure is slippery. Not surprising, considering Cardassians evolved from a species of lizard called Mechamut, or Mud Creeper. You're making that up. He's... he's hailing us, Captain. Well, Starfleet pig, you found me. My solar former is about to make this star go supernova and destroy the entire system. You might be able to stop it. Care to try? What's his game? The solar former's shields are down. Why don't we just fire some torpedoes at it and be done? Good idea, Lieutenant. I am not so sure. Why not? Destroying the solar former is what he seems to want us to do. I agree. You think someone as intelligent as Bataan wouldn't give us a clear shot at his precious doomsday device? Unless he's gone mad. You're considering the sanity of a man whose hobby is destroying solar systems? I think we should get close enough to the solar former to do an intensive scan. I'd feel more comfortable blowing it up from here. Captain, we're taking damage from our proximity to the sun. Can we hold together, Chief? Yes, but my crews are going to be too busy plugging up damage from the sun to deal with any other repairs. Intercept course, plotted. Audio message from Matan. What are you waiting for, Captain? Come, be a hero. Starfleet is counting on you. I wish he'd stop that. It's spooky. What can we do? He's cloaked. If he sends us a message again, can't we track the source of the transmission? Of course. Felix, I'll need you to route communications through tactical. Done. Next time Matan signals us, we should be able to get a temporary lock on him. We'll probably only get one chance. Matan is not stupid enough to fall for the same trick twice. You have a very resourceful crew, Captain. We shouldn't just sit and wait for him to hail us. We've got to try and do something about that solar former. I still think we should scan it. I still think we should destroy it. I think we should go help the Kessick evacuate. Your order, sir. Initiating scan. We're in range. One moment. Sorry, this is bad news, Captain. Apparently, the sun is past the point of no return. It will go supernova no matter what we do? I'm afraid so. And we don't have much time left. I have an idea, Captain. We can try inverting the polarity of the solar former's emitters. Do you think the solar former can reverse what it's done to the sun? That is what I am hoping, yes. When I scanned the device, I noticed that its internal computer was locked by an encryption code. Can we break the code? I don't know, Commander. We have no idea what cipher Matan has used, and Cardassians are legendary for their encryption techniques. Quite true. The encryption system prohibits remote tampering unless you have the precise key sequence that activated it. To decrypt the code, someone would actually have to beam over to the solar former, and of course there's no life support there. Maybe there's something about the code on Matan's ship. We could try scanning him. That would be a good idea, if you weren't cloaked. Alternately, I could beam over to the device. You certainly like putting yourself in dangerous situations. What about Matan? He's probably going to see what we're doing and try to stop us. I trust you will not let him succeed. I am ready to transport to the solar former on your order, Captain. How may I assist? Yes, Captain. I will report to the transporter room. Captain, that sun is really unstable. Whatever Matan did with the solar former tipped the balance. It's now in atomic acceleration. How long do we have? We have about eight minutes until the sun reaches critical mass. Commander Data is in the transporter room. Energizing. He's now inside the solar former. Matan's Red ship alert. is decloaking. I guess we got his attention. Matan is targeting the solar former. We have to protect Commander Data. Commander Data is signaling us from the solar former. 
Audio only. Captain. Captain. I have removed the housing from the solar former signal module. I am now attempting to decrypt the cipher. Stand by. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Seven minutes remaining. Commander Data is signaling us from the solar former. Audio only. Accessing the solar former's emitter array. Stand by. It is done. The polarity is in Their tractor beam has been disabled, Good. Captain. Miguel, bring Commander Data back. Lowering shields. Energizing. Commander Data is back on board. We've destroyed Matan's main energizer. His propulsion and weapons are useless. He's drifting into the sun. Chief, can we lay a tractor beam on his ship? The sun's greatly elevated radiation is throwing off the polarity of our graviton generators. I highly recommend we turn our attention toward the solar former. Now, let's deal with Matan. Can we get within transporter range of Matan's ship? There's too much interference from the sun. I can't lock on any patterns. Let him burn. Kiska. Sorry, Commander. Chief, give us a status report. I can't imagine these sparking consoles are a good sign. Our primary EPS conduits have blown out. Switching to secondary systems? Plasma coolant containment is compromised. We may have to vent it completely after we reach Starbase 12 for repairs. Antimatter containment is stable. We have impulse and up to warp 4 at your command. Captain's log, stardate 55432.5. The Sovereign has returned victorious from battle with Matan, having disarmed the Kessok solar former. Unfortunately, Matan himself could not be captured to answer for his crimes against the Kessok people. However, justice appears to have been served with the destruction of his ship. I have requested a meeting with the Sovereign's captain to express my personal thanks, as well as my commendations. Well, Captain, you've certainly distinguished yourself. The Kessok have offered their most profound thanks for your assistance in preserving both their colony and their remaining solar former. We have begun diplomatic negotiations with the Kessok. In light of recent events, we are hopeful they will be open to a treaty of some kind with the Federation. Your performance has been exemplary, Captain. You've maintained the finest traditions of Starfleet. I'm sure we'll be hearing the name Sovereign often in the future. We must be getting underway, and I know you want to get back to your ship. So I'll say, bon voyage, Captain, and see you out there.